Well, 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 cadets. It's been a minute. It surely has. I've been away on a long, long journey. But I'm glad to say that I'm back. Had to get some things in order. Had to make some much needed upgrades to the ship. Had to make many more rooms to accommodate all the new cadets that I know are gonna join us this year. That's right, we're back. So I do apologize. But if you will come and join me in my quarters, we can talk face to face. Cadets! Welcome back! I'm here. We've returned, and as you can see, I have a nice new, nice new view. You know, I was getting a little cramped in here. I really, I really wanted to see, there was just a wall back here. Now I can see. We can see the earth that we rule over. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding with that part. Maybe, not yet. Also, the legs, don't worry about the legs, okay? Don't, just don't worry about them. I lost them in the Great War. You know the one I'm talking about, but anyway. Ah. Cadets, it's good to be back. And I'm glad you're here with me. So salutes and chat, all of you. We have an awesome stream today. We have Raph and his team himself joining us here on board the Voice Star. We're gonna have a great q and I'm excited. You excited? Ah, oh, look at all you guys. It's so good to be back. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Cadets, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's been a minute. Look at all of you awesome individuals here joining me for a Saturday stream. If you're new, guys, welcome. I am Captain Void, and you are my loyal and amazing cadets. It's so good to be back here in the captain's seat. Oh my goodness. We got some old faces, we got some new faces. How's everyone feeling? Daddy? <laughs> okay, what? Whoop. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> god. <laughs> Trying to keep my composure. I'm trying to keep my composure here. Goodness. Gosh. Yo, what's up? Yo, Viking. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if I can do this really fast. Grim. Uh, Ellen Patriot, 31 Hollows. Uh, Lord Ass. Welcome. Uh, Link. Still got the member badge. Let's go. Uh, Pyro Games. Did I say you already? David. Yeah, Kaneki. I you son of a gun. Ghost Void. Viking. Grim. Phil, uh, Phil, Phil, I'm just gonna like, call you Phil, Earthly, out, Mad Lad, what's good? Is my zipper up? Are we looking snazzy? Are we good? We're good today? How's the hair? How's the hair? We got right? I'm trying to look good for you guys. Yo, what's up, Josh? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Link Mario! Random Asian boy. Look, we have our Asian quota filled. We have our token Asian on board. Welcome on board, everybody. <laughs> Gotta run a laugh track for that one. Oh, dude, I can't, I can't. Oh my gosh. Alright. Let's bring in...
Hold on, pause the music. Let's get serious. Okay. All right. Let's bring in. Let's bring in the guests. It's him. I see you, Dragon. So we have some guests who have been hanging out backstage. And... <laughs> I can hear myself a little bit in one of your microphones. Um, uh, let's see here where you guys at. Alright. You guys are live. We can hear you guys oh, yeah, now. Yeah. We can hear you guys now. So, uh, if... You would all give a warm, warm welcome to the guests today on stream. We have Raph and his team. Everybody, say hello to these guys. Hello. Yes, hello. yes. What's up, hello. guys? <laughs> we are a capella group. You know, I was like trying to keep a straight face while I'm hearing you like laugh in the background. <laughs> like, yeah, if uh, Void Boy, if you can unmute your Discord mic, I don't know if there's a delay between the stream. I just don't. There wanna... is a little bit of a delay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to get confused, so okay. I have the stream muted. But okay. um, I'm Raf. I'm the lead developer on War of the Worlds, and uh, this is Temno. He's a new developer on the team. We'll introduce him more. A little bit later, we have Kaniki, Yo. who is a uh, a sound designer. A lot of the sounds you hear in the game are by him, as well as some voice acting. And then we have Eld BH, who is an artistic genius. He's helped us uh, design the new tripods you guys are going to see, and you guys probably already know him from the current tripods in the game, which he created. And yeah, that's that's the guys. Uh, that are here right now. We have a few more project members, but they were unable to make it. Gotcha. All right. So this is exciting. So some of you guys I've talked to before and some I haven't, but yes, chat. So we have a fun, fun stream today. I know it's like, uh, I'm a little late. It's only like, only like what? Two or three months late. That's fine, right? That's fine. <laughs> Better late <laughs> sure. than never. I'm sure nothing has changed since uh, you've released this video. Right, guys. A lot has changed, actually. Um, and we'll 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 get to it. Like, we'll talk about it. There's a yeah. lot. That's a lot of exciting stuff that I'm excited to uh, show in the next video. But we can talk a little bit about what we've been doing. Cool, cool beans. Yeah. So, I'm uh, I'm glad you guys are available to hop in for today's stream. I was just gonna like react and like finally get caught up. You know, like that guy that reacts to all the War of the World stuff and wasn't doing it. <laughs> yeah, it was but, like a, a break in the time-space continuum. Yeah, you, you know, again, like, business, business, you know, sucked into a wormhole. Life. Life. Yeah, happens. life. Life for sure has happened. A lot of life. Um, uh, actually, I guess to update some of you guys, uh, some of you guys know I do arm wrestling, but I had a ginormous uh, tournament a few weeks ago and that was awesome. So almost 600 people showed up, and your boy took uh, fourth out of 15 guys in the class. So nice. Yeah, it was a good time. Nice. It's a good time. Uh, first time hitting semi. Show the guns on the screen. Hopefully Show the guns. Demonetized. I don't know if we'll, we'll see them through the suit, but <laughs> later. That'll be later. Stick around to the end of the stream, and we'll uh, we'll do a little show for the members. <laughs> By the way, if you guys want to become a member, it's like 99 cents. It's super cheap. Uh, you get a badge and you get emojis and fun stuff and you get to support me and the channel so any likes any shares any members i appreciate you cadets it's very good to be back uh welcome any new people it's exciting to have you here i'll try and keep up with chat best i can but uh, i know we're having a good time so uh oh yeah and if you guys have questions uh definitely hang on to them we'll uh We'll get to them if, if we don't answer them, like, during the stream or something. Because this will be a Q&A, essentially. So, if there's any questions that aren't answered, feel free to stick around at the end of the stream and uh, ask away. But, um, yeah, I guess, we just, I guess we just hop into this. We just jump in to this uh, reaction. I'm excited. So, when you guys dropped this, I watched some of it. 
and then I stopped because I was like, all right, I need to wait. So I literally haven't seen all of this video until wait, now. I have a question. All right. Pregúntame. What's your question? Um, so there's another guy in the chat named Not My Blood. I don't know if you see him, but he was oh, kind yes. of, uh, he's been doing reaction videos as well. But oh, what's up? He did a, uh, he did like this video. I haven't seen it in a while, but it was like a, a redub of a lot of scenes in the movie. And it was like one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. I don't know if you can play that before you play the video. <laughs> okay. Yo, you got a link? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on. I think I do. <laughs> he yeah, here it is. Hold on. Also, thank you guys for the memberships. Welcome aboard, Josh and uh, Nitsu. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember if this was actually as funny as I remember it to be, but hey, you I know, think it was pretty funny. we'll see. We'll I see. was planning on today to be like a War of the Worlds themed day. Uh, look, you're my yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, I can already tell this is gonna be fire. Um, so you know, the more the merrier. Wait, not my blood. Is that? Is that share? Yeah is, yeah. is that who that is? Oh, okay. Is it Cher or Cher? I never know how to pronounce the name. But they hang out in my community. Also, guys, I have a Discord. Feel free to join. Yeah, shout out Cher, not my blood. Okay. Thanks for doing your reaction videos. I like to watch those. Yo, okay. All right. Hopefully this is, uh, hopefully this is loud enough. All right. Let's hop in. Everyone, come with me. Come to the theater. Come join. Let's watch. Let's enjoy some... Uh, Oh, Grub, thank you for the memberships. <laughs> Let's go. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Look at these guys getting new suits. Asteroids, bugs, pyro. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. All right. Everyone grab a seat. We have plenty. There are some. If you want to sit right next to me, sorry, you can't. Raph and the boys are sitting next to me. You can sit in the next row. Right down. Yeah, we got some America emojis in chat. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, not with blood. Sub to this guy. Let's watch the video. Uh, look, you're my daughter. I can see that. Um, if you don't eat that sandwich, I am going to throw it at your fucking face. <laughs> this time, I won't be throwing at the window. Dad, if you throw that sandwich at me, I will call you Ray. Yeah, bullshit. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's definitely quiet, but this is awesome. <laughs> I want to know who did the girls' voices. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on, I'm starting over. Rachel, uh, look, you're my daughter. I can see that. Um, if you don't eat that sandwich, Uh, Rachel, okay. just eat. So, Robbie, what about you? You want to eat? Uh, yeah, I've sure, I'll eat. Great to shut up. Me and Robbie will be Don't tell me to enjoying shut up. this go. If mom cry. finds out how to you're behaving like this, she will control Tim. you. Uh, I think Tim is dead, right? Robbie ain't Yeah, you? I believe so. Because those uh, fucking machines crawled out of the ground and torching everyone, killing uh, everybody, so I am sure I'm he is <laughs> dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Wait, you actually want uh, yeah, to Yes, Rachel, I do. I don't like Tim. Which part you don't understand? Uh, Gosh, we need to keep you in the basement. Trust me, you will. Be. <laughs> this is getting interesting. When that <laughs> what kind of father are you? Good father Rachel, remember uh, the basement I saved you from that machine? This time, oh I won't be fucking saving you. <laughs> oh, wow, Dad, you're so deep. Oh, well, Dad goes. <laughs> yes, Robbie. Dude, are these AI like? <laughs> this is awesome. It sounds so good. It's really quiet. Can you guys hear it? I know it's like, I don't, there's not much I can do. Like, everything's all the way up. <laughs> He's ruthless. He is ruthless. Uh, yeah, Rachel needs to stop screaming. How the heck am I screaming? Rachel, listen to us. I swear you should have been living with Tim and You know Mom. one thing so funny, Dad? Oh, this yeah. argument is getting bad. I think Rachel made it worse. Uh, Robbie, you remembered how Rachel was getting all yeah, the tantrum in the car? I Dad, swear I she was scared. fucking annoying. Oh my god. I swear we should have at least kick her out of the fucking car. And I remembered how she was complaining as much as she wants. Yeah, mom. I remembered. And while I was fucking oh, you know, driving, god. she got, almost even got us killed by her tantrum. If everybody see how you're talking like this, you're going to have a hard Oh, I life. forgot. Didn't you say that you want to call me Ray? Okay, Ray. <laughs> what a bitch. Uh, <laughs> hear this. She yeah, I heard. Fucking Ray. This is getting bad, I and those things so are going to hear this. us. 
Okay, you know what? <laughs> Let's change topic. So, Robbie, when do you want to play baseball? Um, not sure, but the last time I played baseball with you when you threw that ball at the window. Oh, yes, I remembered, but that because I called you a dick. So you clearly didn't fucking catch the ball because you were emotionally hurt when I've said that. Yeah, correct. Okay, I just want to make this clear, mm, Robbie. Yeah. You and I are cool, right? Um, yeah. Okay, good. See me and uh, Robbie are cool together. <laughs> the only problem what we have to deal with is Rachel. Oh, here we go she again. She is the biggest problem. Well, what? Are you forgetting something, Ray? What am I forgetting, Rachel? Hmm? Those damn machines and aliens, have you lost oh, your yeah, mind? Those are the biggest threat because they destroyed our homes and humanity Oh, shit. Yeah, I completely destroyed. forgotten. <laughs> 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 I like how they're getting so interpersonal. <laughs> He's like, oh, right. And Luke and Robbie's like, oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> see, this is the problem here, Rachel. When I see you, I fucking clearly forget about those. <laughs> so much language in this. The biggest what, fucking problem. Yeah, Rachel, I feel like you're causing so much drama. Wait, how am I causing fucking drama? Because <laughs> you are. And stop cursing. Wow, did she just say? <laughs> yeah, she did, Robbie. I feel like she is going to get us all killed by those machines. You guys are getting angry all because I said I am allergic to peanut butter. Okay, Rachel, since when? Burr. Um, um, okay. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. Dang, it's ruthless. Yo, chat, what do we think? Oh my gosh, thank you for bringing that to my attention. I got you. Uh, sorry, that was so quiet. There wasn't much I could do there, but uh, it sounded fine though. We could hear it. Okay, good. That gave me a good laugh. Holy crap! <laughs> I love how like he just everything he flips. Dude, chair, you have a good good sense of humor. So kudos to you. That was awesome. I love how he like flips everything. Like he's so manipulative. He's like, stop cursing. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're kicking today off strong. Let's go. That was good editing too. That was funny. Like it was a good like. It made sense. Like it was just enough. Like we got the point, and like he showed different like faces and stuff. That was that was pretty good. Um, definitely subbing. Definitely gonna check out your channel, buddy. I'm gonna see what else you got on there. Uh, Cause that was fun. Uh, yeah, is it canon? Is that canon, guys? I think it is. It's definitely canon. What am I gonna do with this? Oh, you know, there's something else I, I thought about. Um, have you guys been seeing the news about those eclipses? Like the eclipse coming up? Yeah. It's not too far from me, actually. Oh, really? But it's gonna be a nightmare to like travel and everything. It's not worth it. Yeah, I was thinking about going, um, but it would be like. A four or five hour drive it'd be cool i don't know they said it's not going to happen again for like a long time so i'm kind of sad that i'm not making more of an effort but same you like feel like you're missing out but yeah it probably lasts like what 30 seconds or something yeah who knows uh the real question is is this really an eclipse or is this the start of the war of the worlds is this the beginning i think we know the answer to that <laughs> Is this how they get ushered in? I think we do know the answer. I want to know if chat knows the answer too, though. So let's see here. I'll put a little poll out for you guys. I don't know if you guys can see this on mobile. I was on mobile the other day and I couldn't see a poll. I think you can only see mobile um, polls on laptop or desktop, but. All right, polls up. So is this a real eclipse or is this aliens, guys? Is this, is this the tripods? Is this the end of the world? Should we be ready? Should we watch all of the world world's content today to prepare ourselves? Some of that being, oh, well, most of that being Raph's simulation type game. I mean, you're, you're would you, Raph, I guess, you know what? I'll start the Q&A now. 
and it's going to extend for the entirety for of this stream that you're here. Yeah, let's do it. Um, would you consider what you're doing to be predictive programming? <laughs> um, can you define predictive programming? I'm okay. not familiar <laughs> with that term. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a common it's a common theme amongst uh, conspiracy theorists who believe things they see on the news are prepping the world for what's to come. So like alien sightings or um, author authoritarian control. Would you say that this this game simulation is uh, predictive programming? I think you are you getting the world ready? Or like yeah, like is it not I mean, that sinister? It's not that deep, <laughs> but it can be, you know, like, I feel like this will be the closest you can get to, like, being in an alien invasion, you know, and having that, like, freedom and liberty to do what you need to do to survive. But I don't, I'm not making it for the sole purpose of, like, everybody brace yourselves, you know, like, <laughs> play my game to be ready. Anybody who doesn't play my game is going to die. All right. Just so we have that on record, just so we know, you know, I, I was just curious if you knew something that we didn't. So I don't know. I wish I did. <laughs> oh my gosh! I just know this is gonna be the best War of the Worlds game ever. Yeah, I think uh, I think you're on par for the course there. What is Raph? What if Raph is actually the alien and he's just fooling you? <gasps> oh, he's just telling you not to believe him. Oh, new theories. Yeah. Um. I mean, have you ever seen him? Well, I mean, I, I won't say that I haven't <laughs> seen him because I do. We we do know what. Well, you know what I look like, but I do know what Raph looks like. But that could be a farce. That could be. I haven't seen him in person, so yeah, I don't know. You never know. I don't know. Now you have my head my head spinning. All right, let's check on this poll here. What do we got so far? Uh, Sixty two percent says aliens. Yeah, I don't know. Is actually is anyone in chat actually gonna be hit by the eclipse? And if you do happen to be there, uh, definitely post it in one of our discords so we can look at it because that would be cool. I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of images online, but uh, Pyro Games release date. I'm just gonna answer that now. Um. That way we can stop asking that question. <laughs> um, Matt, you think you are? It will hit the UK. We're really cloudy here, so we won't see it. Ah, darn. Should we go ahead and uh, check the video? Yeah, definitely. Yo, what's up, Luminality guy? Yeah, I'm seeing some familiar names. This is great. All right, let's get to the video. Video time, me cadets. Who is ready? And then uh, we'll get the boys here to answer any questions as we go along and enjoy. Once more, into the theater. Let me add this poll. <laughs> These aliens won't take my oil. You've got your priorities set. <laughs> it's hilarious. Okay. All right, here we go. War of the Worlds, February update, two months ago. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, yes. I can't believe it's already been that long. Yeah, it's gotta be wild. Johan, thank you for the 10 gifted. Appreciate you so much. Dude, the music. Also, I just want to stop and say I love the graphics that you're using now. They're they're pretty dope. They're pretty sick. Um, Shout out Cordex for the music and the graphics. He's our new uh, like composer. He's done a lot of the music you'll hear. Oh, sick! In this um, video, as well as Andy, who's in the chat. <clears throat> but um, yeah, he he designed this. Like, I kind of gave him the idea, and then he designed this, and I thought it was really really good. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna try and 
actually capture if I can. This, yes. So at least we can see when you guys are talking and whatnot. Perfect. All right, it's like you're here with me in the uh, in the seats. All right, sweet. Let's do it. Dude, so good. Nice! Yo, that's so simple and easy. Oh my gosh. It's awesome. So chat, I don't know if you saw, we have the tripod design 2005 and 2003. So, or 2023, my bad. So that 2023 is just you guys' backup. Yeah, I mean, I'd say at this point it's like the tripod and then at this point we just decided to make the 05 something like a mod or a dlc mm. that'll be kind of like super easy to put in um that's the plan right now at least until further notice just because you know we haven't heard anything from paramount we don't want to like jump the gun and put it out with just the 05s or anything so this way it's like we get the best of both worlds and we play it safe and it's awesome. Yeah, I was actually going to ask if you guys have heard anything or run into any trouble since, but that's cool that uh, everything's been smooth sailing. It's, it's probably almost weird that it's been like complete silence. Um, yeah, I mean, I've never had the like, I never worried that anything was going to happen because I knew that I would like, you know, make sure I do things the right way. But I also know that this War of the Worlds isn't like an exclusive franchise to any of these movie studios. It's more of like a a movie they made and it's not like anything they maintain. I don't think they have, you know, the resources they would put for like a movie like Top Gun or Jurassic Park or something like that where they would want to shut down anything because they're still trying to profit off that idea, whether it's like books, movies, toys, games or theme park stuff like you know, there's no War of the Worlds, like, licensed stuff other than the Pegasus um, model. Mm -hmm. Which Pegasus has no relation to, like, any of these companies. They just licensed it. And I was hoping I could get the same type of deal with Paramount at some point. But, you know, I don't think it'll be necessary um, mm -hmm. with the way that I plan to do things on release. Yeah. Uh, and you know what's funny is... Um... Since we're talking about this, a while back, I had covered that Jurassic Park game, and like the dude was getting letters like directly. Um, who does? Was that Universal? Who does? I think so. Yeah, yeah. It was, you know, um, and they just announced like their new survival game. Yeah, which makes like, a lot of sense why they would have done that. You know. Yeah, like when that, I was gonna like react to that too. I just didn't have the time, but I was like, like this is exactly why they were writing him like hey we need you to stop and he was like i'm gonna do it anyway i was like okay like all right a little risky but like whatever man like go for it like but uh yeah that was a uh, it made perfect sense when that came out because it was like well they're probably working on something and they actually in the letters they actually told him like what kind of games he could make which i thought was kind of neat um like but again uh, it was just kind of neat that whole situation because we never really hear from these big companies um, so yeah. it's like a tiny little window into like a conversation, but um, I'm trying to set up something that I can hear the alerts. I just realized uh, the alerts aren't too loud for anyone, right? I just want to make sure. Um, I haven't even been hearing them go off for a stream, but again, thank you for all the gifts and, and support you guys are showing. This is uh, I really really appreciate it. All right, let's get on with this video. Let's go. Wow. Okay. You know what? What a huge jump <laughs> from the last time I saw the character creator. Oh, let's go. This is awesome. Yeah, this is sick. That looks really good. Um, did you uh, make these or did you pull this from somewhere? Like, is it an asset? Wait, can you hear me? You guys there? Oh, sorry. 
<laughs> I forgot I put push to talk because my mic kept going off. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I got you. I got to get used to it. But, um, yeah, I added character customization because I don't know if you ever played Project Zomboid. Mm. Oh, yeah, I still didn't get around to that. <clears throat> it's just a great game. Like, you can have different characters every playthrough, like, whether it's, like, a look or you can add certain traits and things. And I really want to add that kind of um, system to the game where mm. you can, you know, have traits and things that you know benefit you or slow you down um but this is itself is mostly an asset i redid most of the ui and yeah this is from the unity asset store of most of it okay because i don't have the time to like yeah create I mean, a full character customization system when yeah, you can seriously. pay 100 bucks or whatever and save yourself weeks of work yeah and this looks I fine. changed the UI so it's not just like copy and paste. You know, I made it look a little bit more to the theme. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's sick. As long as I can get my token Asian. Yeah. I can build him. All right, cool. <laughs> my uh, my my Glenn. Uh, <laughs> hashtag my Glenn. Can we Your get that? Glenn yeah. Can it. we get that uh, being a running joke from now? Wait. <laughs> Apparently, he's had a revelation, a message from the intergalactic hotline. For anyone who does not recognize, people, that's Tucker, Tucker Carlson, for right? Friendly game of poker. They're here to steal your know. barbecue recipes <laughs> and replace them with <laughs> vegan alternatives. Who's Tucker Carlson? Oh, like um, but that's Tucker Carlson. Tucker, yeah, Tucker Carlson. No, no, no. His cousin. Lightning bolts. So good. Do the dialogue. Oh my gosh. Um, so, uh, is this uh, just like demoing stuff, or do you see this as like the start of the game for people? The start of the game is always different because you spawn random places. Cool. You know, if there happens to be a radio there, like you can listen to the dialogue and change the channels and stuff. <clears throat> um, but it's like. It's not like a hard start for the game. Like you're not always gonna have the same start. You'll always start somewhere different. You know, you can you have a lot of settings where you can change the time of day that you start at, and um, whether you start before the storm or after the storm. So it's a. Uh, I try to make it different. You know, every time you play, because you want it to be replayable. Mm -hmm. You want it to be like a different experience every time. So I didn't. I tried to stay away from like campaign and story mode because. That's a lot of work, and then it's like, you know, most people are just going to play it once, and then it's over. Mm -hmm. But I want to make something that's, like, sustainable, that's replayable, and dynamic. That's awesome. So, I was, yeah, so you think, like, some of your starting points will look like this kind of a thing? Like, yeah, so, like, you know, there's a start in the RV, there's a start mm -hmm. in different, all the different houses, like, and then I do want to have a setting in the main menu where you can choose which spawn you want. Um, because I feel like, you know, people should be able to have that kind of freedom to, like, yeah. customize how they want to play and how they want it to go. Nice, new clouds. That's gotta look so cool in-game. Ooh! Yeah, this was something that was much needed that I spent some time on. And Ooh. I'm really happy with how it came out. Yeah, the that looks metrics. really cool. Oh, I love the color, too. There you go, volumetric lighting. So that reacts to the lightning bolt lights as well as like the sky. That looks so sunlight. good. Yo, I'm, man. You know what's funny is I was looking at some of the old videos that like we've both put out. And I, I think my documentary was like a year ago when that came out. It was way more. Oh, well, yeah. That. Like, yeah. And like everything about that um, to now, like I'm remembering those first storm clouds now looking at this and this looks like so cool you know it's like three-dimensional yeah um yeah awesome improvements man i also love the amount of humor that you add to your game like well i can't take credit for this one because this is a the guy, I'm not gonna say his name because he doesn't want his name. Gotcha. But um, 
he basically would just post like things he he made in the post testers chat. <laughs> nice. And I was like, oh, this is really funny. Like, I thought it was funny, but it also gives like context, especially this one with um, Alexei Jonas. Um, yes. <laughs> no Russian. He like gives you advice on how to survive. Like, although it's like so satire cool. and it's humor and it's like kind of lore for the the game, it also gives you like advice, you know. And everybody's like, oh, this guy's crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. But he's actually speaking facts. He's actually yes. He paid attention to the predictive programming. Oh man, that's so cool. What an awesome way to work in like a tutorial uh, element just naturally into the game. That's sick. It's really smart. So right now what you need to do is gather everything. Water, food, charge, anything and everything you can. You need to get tools and supplies. We may not even also moving at the same time. And you book it to the mountains the clouds. Only there will you have some semblance of security because um, see you. Yeah, so the clouds like sorry, sorry I basically sorry, the way I said I... that's just a theory. A game theory. Concrete doesn't stop them. They will see you, they will hear you, they But will... yeah, that whole that whole cloud thing moves. Yeah, so it's basically like rings of of like puffs. Mm. And then I made some go one direction, some go the other different sizes. Added well, volumetrics to it, and then set up the lightning, and then was, all of the, the tin you know, I had to do a lot of like tweaking to get it to look right. I, yeah. I really looked at the movie and was like, I really tried to recreate it. It's so cool, man. Thanks. I'm happy, really. They've been quite the nuisance to all of us. Seriously, though, at the end of the day, this is seriously devious stuff. I'm not sure why it's not a crime to spread these sorts of misinformation and Link Mario, I've always wondered if there were ships in the clouds. Kind of like uh, if anyone here has seen the movie, the nope. Yeah, it's an interesting theory. That's so unsettling. Yeah. That's awesome. Also, I've got to say, man, like, your game is looking more and more like your game. You know, like, there's a style that's kind of, like, emerging. Um, like a color palette, almost, that's emerging. Things feel, like, more cohesive. Yeah, I think not only in, like, visuals, but just the game itself is becoming its own thing. You know, now that we have our freedom to, like, with these new... I called them Eld Pods, because, you know, Eld made them, but, you know, there's... He had um, went off of what another one of his friends concept artist. Uh, so like, it's not just L's idea, but you know he really brought this to life and improvised and had a lot of space to work with. And he's gonna talk about it more. Um, oh, it looks know, so good. He has a lot to say about. This. I mean, he worked on this tripod for a year, so it just shows how much time and effort was put into it. And I remember the last time we did a stream. It was like we were. This was just an idea. Like we were talking about. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Uh, just in case. And like, it was all just ideas back then. And now yeah. Like, we'll just see it. In, in Dude. Person. And I'm so glad you did, man. Like, I one like it accomplishes keeping the game safer for a release. But two, like, oh, I have to go back and hear that again. Um, they just look freaking awesome. And that's what I was so excited. I was like curious how you guys would come up as a team with your own tripods and they look badass i love them <laughs> i think i like them more yeah. than the 05s it's really hard like when you're playing with them you're like oh these are way better and then when you play with the 05s you're like oh this is like classic you know like yeah you get the both you, of, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to pick a favorite but it's good that, that we were able to create something that is like you know, up there with the 05, and it's not something that feels like a ripoff or something that's like half assed or, you know, can't keep up with the original. Yeah. Like, there's so much detail to it. It just looks awesome. Like, d we could probably spend a whole hour just going over the details, looking of like the legs, even I'm seeing are new. Like, all these... this is a good time for Eld to uh, talk about it and whatever he wants to speak about and things he wants to point out. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you want to pull up your screen, maybe, with your Yeah, models? if you want. Oh, yeah? 
Also, I want to say, like, remember when you had the whole uh, UE debate? Like, should you yeah. switch? <laughs> like, yeah. this is looking like those UE shots, you know? Um, the lighting is looking awesome here. Like, this almost looks like a photograph. So, it's Thanks. come a long way, dude. And uh, good job sticking through and just keeping on. Yeah, man. Never, never going to give up. That's right. And I just like to point out that like the same the people that are in here with me right now are the same ones that were there what well, was like a year and a half or two years ago that we did this last interview. That's and wild. you know, like I can't do this without them and the other guys. So you know, as much as my name is like attached to this game, like Raf Raf's Raf's game, well, it's mm. like it's really not my game, it's all of our games, you know. I'm just the one like seeing it through and like putting everything together, but it wouldn't be where it is now without without these guys so sick got out <laughs> love you bro all right uh do you want to share some some stuff or yeah. do you want to share your screen in here i think now's a good time we can just okay. talk about that all right yep oh uh I'll share my screen and show some pictures and uh, show the model. Let's do it. L, do you still have any of those like concept arts before, like the original ones? Oh, oh yeah, I do. I'll just that look. picture is fire. I remember uh, when that concept art was. Uh being made it and stuff a bit from the earlier uh concept here and there yeah this is like one of the later one of the more final like concept parts but the first one is like you can see like where it was going but like it's changed so much and <laughs> it I, looks I mean, so yeah, good <laughs> the, the bits on the neck and then like yeah. how that like changed into more of like a sort of rib cage that opens up with these shoes <sighs> coming out that's so sick. Like, oh my gosh. And, and did you render these in like Blender? Is that what you work in? Yeah. Like these yep. images? Yep. Dude. Unreal. <laughs> the amount of detail is so sick. We don't, we don't use that word around here. Boy. <laughs> Just uh, let me, we're going to erase that footage. All right. We're going to clip that out of the screen later. <laughs> that word is just traumatized me. Yes, I'm sure. Everybody like, why didn't you make the game in Unreal? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could see both sides, but I understand. Um, now, how much, like, especially in those super detailed spots, is, like, normal mapping? Or is that literally all detail? So, so here is, like, the actual model. Mm. Right wow. Here. Wow. And here is, like, so, like, almost all of it is, like, normal mapping. Like, that just shows the power of good texturing and good artistry yes and knowing what you're doing because he's only been modeling what for like two years now or three years or something yeah and he's like look at this <laughs> here you go i figured it out <laughs> i um, think he's either started modeling like around the time or after that this game started so mm. that just shows you his progression yeah yeah dude this I, is I looking... started like a while before, but I've only made like a handful of models so far. Uh, Dude, so, so good. Yeah, of course the whole worry was uh, copyright, right? Hmm. So you have so you have this like incredible design mm -hmm. by ILM that you like gotta think, huh? How can you make that? How can you keep that? sort of intact but make it look less like it and one of the first decisions was to make sure that uh my friends and my uh, design had its own uh, specific characteristics to it like these um like these vents for mm -hmm. example they will like um they will glow more when it like charges the heat rays so it's <sighs> like walking around like it's using more power so they'll like glow more that's uh, so the other sick. thing 
was to change the the profile of the head. Mm. So the the 2005 head, as you go, it kind of goes straight back. Like yeah. So here it was like, let's give it like a curve, uh, make it end up like split in, split into two pieces. Uh, give yeah, it like one hatch. It's pretty cool just with the head design. It almost, it, this whole design, I think we've talked about it before, but it looks more aquatic. Yeah, it's it's based more on like uh, crustaceans. Yeah, yeah. Like it looks like something that could easily maneuver underwater as well. You know, a big thing was like when we first showed the like first concept arts, we got a lot of like flag people saying like, oh, you're still going to get copyrighted. Like it's not original enough. And like the whole point is to stay like where you can see mm. the influence and you can recognize like the outline, you know. But it's it's meant to be something different and on its own. But like we still want to take inspiration from those same like sea creatures and jellyfish and like use the same you know movement and stuff. Yeah. So we wanted to keep it, you know, really close, but also like this is something completely new. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. And you know what's funny is noticing on the O5, the O5 seems to have what now look like to me like these like crustacean little things in front, like a like crab or something like crab hands or something. And yeah, the fingers. Yeah, they're just fingers. gone on the other one, but it's just it's different now. And you have more of this, yeah, like, now they're like draw yeah. like. And are those little fingers like still kind of under there, underneath? Yeah, the one there's like little. I don't know. They're like claws underneath okay. the hole yeah, where the tentacles there's come out. Like these, uh, these little like armor plates over here that will like open up for the uh, tentacles. Okay. They like slide oh, back. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Maybe you can show oh, you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That's so cool. And like, are you uh, writing or documenting like the reasons behind these decisions. I mean, obviously there's so much influence here. Yeah, it's, like it's, it's just in my head, actually. I got you. Most. Like they use these for <laughs> digging or they use it to shield the tentacles or. Yeah, because it obviously needs a, a port or something. Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, this is like a little bit of like protection for like the vulnerable area. Um, here too, here you have like some pistons that will like be moving around and such. Uh, these plates cover them up and can also move. It's, yeah, all that like slides and moves around and yeah, it's really it like a little bit dynamic. Um, how many places did you put the cage before you decided where it is now? That was one of the first decisions. I think. Oh, cool. Because. Um, Obviously, if you're worrying about copyright, <laughs> well, the book isn't copyrighted anymore. So I, I went back to the book and was like, all right, the book says the cage is on the back of the body. That's where I'm going to put it. That's awesome, actually. Because well, the book isn't copyrighted. So if you take ideas from the book, they can't go after you. Yeah. That's so cool. Now, the... the, the hard part was actually deciding the shape of the cage because i had like no clue what i was gonna do how many so, iterations do you think you did i remember you did a few uh, i think i did like four or some five maybe i was like oh i can't can't get this to work uh, and then i was like oh triangle you know, just make it a triangle and it, it i feel like it fits in really well yeah it, it keeps fitting that tri theme so Yep. It, it, I feel like it complements the shape mm -hmm. of the body itself really well. Man. And then uh, something I did that, that was very noticeable was like the legs. They have like these like yeah. scales now almost. Like Yeah, so so when I'm because um, obviously we had that um, original artwork. Like this, uh, this one, right? Mm -hmm. Right. It's sort of like it goes like there's like a sleeve around the legs, and it was interesting. But I was like, it's gonna look too similar to 2005. Like you know, you just have like these really sleek, long legs. So 
I was like, how to make them different? The idea for Heat Race was always to have like this sort of like spinal mm. like, pattern on them. So I decided to just apply it to the legs. So because an important part is to like break up the silhouette to make it look less similar. Yeah. So that's so this smart. Is, like a clear outline. Yeah. And also, yeah, like the feet, I love how they're kind of like more shielded, like they're bigger. Um, to look like, they oh, yeah, they're, like they're like bigger at the back, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, they're the same deal with like the spinal stuff, like yeah. the segments on like the, the tentacles. Yeah, seriously, you've done a really phenomenal job with your like design language for this whole tripod, it's all like cohesive and clearly Insane. unique and inspired. I love those, like Great. the shields, whatever they are. I guess you call like the the shins or whatever like they're they're just neat they look like they could bash into things like they're just they're just it's such an aggressive looking thing it's so menacing um like the whole tripod the, again that whole design language of it being like spikier and just i just noticed meaner. it looks like the tripod's hood like pointing down yeah yeah the shins. yeah again like solid design language coherency man the the, the funny part in this was actually uh, when the concept art was uh, drawn, uh, my friend completely forgot that uh, there's two toes at the front and then one at the back, so it was the other way around. So that's actually why the sh oh. shape is this piece. Like, this toe was actually meant to be in front with those two behind it. So oh. it like, <laughs> I got you. It has that kind of shape that curves around it. But then I went to modeling and I was like, oh, but I like the shape too yeah. much, so I can't yeah. say no, I, I think it's dope. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, Sometimes you just get those little accidents in there, but they work out in the end. Yeah, yeah. There's so much detail. This is fantastic. I truly hope, like, whoever worked on the movie and the tripods gets to see, like, the work you guys have done. Because this is such a labor of love, like, to that whole film and the tripods and, like, just the further imagination of making it seem even more real than the old ones like it's just it's fantastic and the the ventilation like the heat like that makes sense like if it's charging up and heating up well it needs these ways to cool down so yeah and then some of the renders i i i wanted to make them look a little menacing and more like a giant machine so that's mm. why you have like these incredible like smoke plumes coming yeah. out of the back of the head that's pretty cool. Yeah, on <laughs> That's one of my favorite things that when he showed me that, I was like, I love it. Like, I didn't even question it because I was like, you know, you already see the tripods like in the distance, but now it's like you'll be able to see, you know, the smoke plumes. Like, even if you don't see them, you know, yes, like, you yes. know what's over there. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because I noticed that right away too. And I was like, whoa, like, it just gives them such a more real uh aura like these things are literally like polluting our universe and our atmosphere because they don't give a crap about greenhouse gases they're aliens like they're just here <laughs> to destroy shit like they don't care if or they're like blasting this harmful smoke into the atmosphere they so i'm sure a lot of people will ask like if this is the black smoke mm -hmm. from the book um so when, no, it's not. when we talked about it it was like <clears throat> i didn't really want to do that i wanted this to be more just like exhaust you know i want to stick with the red weed um mm -hmm. the game right now is already like super hard <laughs> so to have like them just filling the map with toxic smoke it's gonna kill you is like you know maybe it's something i'll change my mind on just to stay true to war of the worlds but um just this smoke right now is just exhaust it doesn't have any like effect on your game or anything so just to clear up, because I know a lot of people had that question if this was the black smoke or if the tripod was damaged or if it was on fire or something. Mm. But it's mostly just like power from the power source, you know, generating heat and you have that exhaust. Yeah. Uh, now, I, do you I showcase... Uh, I just want one question real quick. Do you showcase that black smoke in the game? Like, is there a reason for it? Like, if a tripod, like, like sprints or uses something, does it's, that trigger? If it's not in sneak mode. Okay. And it has its heat rays running. Okay, so I'm sure. So we'll like, see. it might not have them, but then when you see it start to like charge up the heat rays and pull them out, you'll see the 
the glow like start to intensifying the smoke starts to come out oh okay cool i wasn't sure if it was triggered so that's awesome yeah you'll I, see uh, it when you continue the video in a little bit cool yeah so i wanted uh in case the black smoke gets added or mm. something i have these like exhausts on the bottom here as well where if you have seen the renders there's just like this white smoke coming out of there but mm -hmm. If Raph ever wants to, the black smoke could come out of there. Yeah. Like, I was like, I'm just going to add that there in case in the future. Uh, and then are those ports thing. up there by the door? Are those like the yep. where they shoot blood out like the red weed fertilizers? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so my idea was that um, as a player, when you're in the cage, you can like see people being taken up in there. And immediately after, you'll see like the blood coming out of there. Like you know, you know what just happened to mm. the person. It's <laughs> awesome. And I wanted, I wanted the hatch to be here. There's sort of like a standoff distance between the hatch and the cage, just to make it like look more creepy, like being taken up in there. Oh my gosh! Look at that needle. Can you go back? This down is to so that cool. Needle right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this differs a little bit from the movie, yeah? Yeah, right. Uh, let me see if I have like another render where you can see the tentacle pretty well. So my idea for the tentacle was um, obviously 2005 already does the whole squid tentacle, right? So mm -hmm. you can't really do the same. So my idea was instead that you have a, uh, a tentacle with a... Um, almost like a grabber like it's like this flexible material like this arm that mm. comes out underneath that will actually wrap around the person and grab them to like make it different because the 2005 design it's basically a squid tentacle with suckers so i wanted to do something different oh is that really so okay so this, this is like a tongue almost yeah <laughs> it kind yeah, of looks really. like a tongue yeah that's dope, man. The black tongue. You never want to see this thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I guess I never really noticed or remembered. Um, yeah, I guess it looked like a squid tentacle with like a sucker on the bottom, but it just kind of wrapped around. Um, yeah. So it's like here, it has like a grabber and it's small enough as to where this tentacle could be used to manipulate small objects as well. Mm, so like opening doors I, I or whatnot. To have I wanted to have that in there in case there's ever some sort of interactivity between the tripod and like small objects that's looking at. Okay, that'd be cool. Yeah, like if there's ever a feature in the game where like you could like grab a car or grab a or grab anything, yeah. who knows. Just to have it there in case mm -hmm. it's ever needed. That's so cool. I love your mentality about having the options there, but it also makes sense with the design. That's so sick. And uh, something else I noticed, is the Uberpod actually bigger than the like original? Like, did you scale that up a little bit? Because it looks taller. Oh my gosh. It looks massive. <laughs> yeah, so that's the scale in, in the game, in, or in Blender, sorry. And the scale difference in-game is big, but it's not that big. It's a little bit less. Okay. But, I mean, you can go ahead and talk about the difference between the Uber version of your oh, yeah. because I know a lot of oh. people have been talking like they don't see the difference or this is their version of the Uber and this will help clear that up. Also yeah, so I just noticed can you share in um better readability like 1080p and less frames instead of it looks fine honestly like okay through this stream, I can, like, all right I just wanted to make sure I don't know if nitro so if not it's fine. I just I just realized yeah, I don't I want to be too crushed for the <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. sorry, I don't have nitro. So oh, that's okay. this is what we're gonna have to deal with. Exactly. So yeah, there were a lot of questions around the the Uber pod. So what I sort of wanted to do with it was that of course in the original the Uber pod looks quite different, but we don't really see it do anything different. Like mm. it's kind of just there, it's kind of destroying stuff. But there, you don't really get a sense of, like, what's the deal with this thing. 
So I was like, okay, so uh, I assume then that it's like a like a command version, right? It's like command vehicle. Mm -hmm. They say in the behind the scenes that it's like the generals of the tripod army. So I thought like, okay, what what would actually be useful for something like that? Mm -hmm. Just um well, they're aliens, right? So let's say for modularity's sake, just like in 2005, it's the same legs, it's the same body, it's a different head. Um, so what would be useful for uh, a commander, right? Obviously more sensors. So there's like three eyes, it has four uh, spotlights. Um, you still need to get some of that Uber pod sense in there so if you notice the hood is wider mm -hmm. it droops down more to the sides compared to the normal one actually i can probably showcase it a little easier by just having them side by side like that mm -hmm. uh another thing i wanted to add was just some uh patterns on top to make it more a little bit more distinguishable um, I love the coloring, all of yeah. The all of the tripods actually have this like alien text on them that uh, my friend made, uh, the same one who made the concept art. He like made a alien font, and it, you can actually translate it back to English. Oh, no and, way! Um, if you crack the code? Yeah. Yeah, so That's it has awesome. like different it has like different text on the top, like identifying it as like a, a commander. And, you want to show them the the easter egg you put oh <laughs> yeah so uh this kind of looks like something doesn't it the red text you can sort the uh, c e l d e b h oh there, cool it's not obvious but it's not obvious too uh -huh. obvious <laughs> yeah that's so cool <laughs> yo chat and, that's sick and obviously for a commander, well, you want it to like relay orders, right? Yes. So there's, there's a bunch of antennae on Dude. the top of the head Dude. that are like constantly blinking. This is so cool. <laughs> like, so it, it's not like as different as 2005, but it was more like, it was more meant to be as like a more specialized version yeah. of the normal tripod. That was yeah, my I, idea for it. I love the intentionality. Like, again, it makes so much sense, the design decisions. Yeah, and in the front, you can see what he did with the spotlights. You have three orange lights instead of one, and you have four of the the smaller spotlights. That's got to look so cool, like, having and all that power. My idea for that was, uh, right now, the, the 2005 Uber pod in the game doesn't, at least from what I think, doesn't really do anything extra, right? It's mm -hmm. not more dangerous. But this thing has more spotlights that can move and rotate independently. Mm -hmm. So this thing is way more likely to see you than the normal tripods, yeah. which is why... So that was my idea of giving it more of a threat towards the player during the gameplay mm -hmm. compared to, like, a normal one. Yeah, It's just able to see more. <laughs> It's awesome. And I'm sure that's it translated in the or uh, relayed in the code, Raf. Um <clears throat> not yet, but then he mentioned it, I was like, good idea. I might make the field of view wider and farther. Um just to give it more of like if you see an Uber coming, you know you gotta hide extra hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're already you're already and, hinting that the game is fairly hard. You're like, how hard should I make it? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to like make it harder because it's already so hard. Yeah. And there's one extra little thing. Um, I gave it more of a longer and more upturned like crest at the back, just again to like mm. in, um, indicate that like proud leadership yeah. like role of it. It's like you can see at the back, like how much bigger it really is. It's awesome. I like to also point out those like struts or like hydraulic bars that i really like that detail mm. um, yeah that's really cool. i think it, it replaces that like tube that the that the o5 has yes it was, it was like this little tube in the back and one way to replace it was 
uh, with like hydraulics and I still have two tubes in the back and one of my uh, first ideas for this as well was I was thinking of like uh, diving equipment, right? Mm. Like, so it's it's almost like a um, a diver on land if they're like used to the sea. So it has like these these tubes coming out of the back that go into the main cylinder here. It looks almost like a diver's like reading. Yeah, there. yeah. Dude, that's that's it. fantastic, and yeah, like I think a lot of a little bit of what you had been saying, like it makes them look more mechanical. Um, yeah, like I with um, with two thousand five, people often wonder is it is it like a like a creature is it mm, biomechanical? Yeah. Or... So with mine, I wanted it to be mechanical, but some parts are biomechanical, like the like the eye right there. Like that front eye, that's like biomechanical. I see. <sighs> All right, I... I think um we can talk I'm about the footage. We can talk about the sounds of these tripods and how we came up with those. Yeah, uh, I don't we know, just can Nikki there, can Nikki there. We just heard one, and if uh, we go back to that real quick, uh, let me pop that guy up. Um play that again all right there you go new tripod horn okay so the new tripod horn is like when we got to this point where we had to start thinking about the sounds it was like the horn in, in the 05 is like iconic like that's like what everybody loves and it's like, how can you replace that? How can you change it? <clears throat> so I don't really know like how people would take it, but I really, really like how this came out. The inspiration behind it, the main inspiration was, um, I put a link in the chat. It was like a random video I found in my recommended. It was like T-Rex sounds. Oh, sick. Okay. And, and I heard it and I was like, man, that's really like scary, like haunting, you know. You can play it on the stream. It's, it's here. You can pause it there. Cool, man. So I heard that and I was Shots like, wild. I uh, I um, messaged Kaniki and I was like, I sent him this video and I sent it to Eld. And Eld was like, not a big fan, but I was like, still really persistent about mm -hmm. like wanting to take a lot of inspiration from that kind of sound. I really like the whole like laughing, like it made it seem really evil, but also. Yeah. Like, they were communicating in a way. And I like, through the idea of, like, whale communication sounds. So, Kaniki really just, like, took off with those two ideas. Like, the dinosaurs, like, whales, and communicating. Like, we wanted the horns to be, like, them communicating with each other. And, uh, yeah, then Kaniki can pull up some of his sound files and give a preview of some of the horns and the... Um, the heat ray sounds and the heat ray deploying and stuff like that because those sounds are really epic yeah i like that the laughing too um yeah 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 you should share your your software the one that has the files and that would play the sound What's up, Chad? How are we doing, Chad? You guys having a fun Saturday? Clear. I'll tell you if I hear it. Anyone snacking or yeah, anything good? We can hear it. Oh, okay. All right. Here, let me pull this up. Uh, let's go here. 
Let's start with the horns, though. I think Kaneki's muted on my end. I don't know if... I can hear you. Oh, wait. okay, there we go. The, uh... Yeah, so I sort of just made a custom patch for the whole sound in Serum, which everybody uses. It's really, really simple stuff, just like basic shapes and like FM um, modulation here with a sub bass on it, of course. So without any effects, it just sort of, it sounds like that. It's super simple. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, you add a, a massive, massive sort of effects chain to it. And every, everything's doing something you have. You have EQs just to take out um, sort of shape it the way I want it to. Obviously, a saturator to make it, uh, well, to give it that uh, aggressive sort of sound. Reverbs and delays to give it, like, distance, if you will. Um, the part that I'm most, I don't want to say proud of, but the part that I think gave it that signature sound where it's, like, laughing is these is these auto pans that come in. Um, if anybody out there is, uh, is Ableton or music producer or anything, uh, a fun trick with auto pan is if you... If you sync up both the sides to each other and then just just modulate sort of the rate of the auto pan, then you you get the effect of uh, sort of volume up and volume down super quick. You can do it with LFO tools. You can modulate it any way you want, but auto pan and Ableton is really good for that. So mm. as you play it, yeah, and that and that second part there, then that that auto pan kicks in there and it kind of gives it that that laughing effect. Um, yeah, that fluttering. Uh, yes. So without without delay or reverb or without auto pan, it would sound it would sound super flat, right? So it would just sound like I'm trying to be Skrillex or something. Uh, which is, <laughs> yeah, which is not the vibe. So you add like weight to it. You add that like sort of laughter. You add delay and reverb to make it sound like it's kind of in the distance. Um, and the advantage of of these horns over let's say the O5 horns. Uh, which was which was basically based on samples is that because it's 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 its, its own patch uh, through through serum you can really modulate the sound and get a whole lot of different like unique sort of sounds with it now a lot of these are, are not the ones that you hear in the game because I've been going back and trying to make new things and and change things up so um, little hums and mm. things different methods of communication between the tripods and everything yeah i was gonna say like i get that vibe when i'm hearing this very much so like underwater whales or some kind of sea creature like this is really really neat so yeah that i think that was the whole idea of it. instead of just having like the the movie only has like two or three horns in it so mm -hmm. the idea behind this was to give it like an entire like method of communication between the tripods and make them seem sort of more fleshed out and in depth and, and give them a lot of different things that they can they can say and, and communicate so in, in yeah, different situations i i love how uh like you guys have clearly grown as a team it's clear how much time you guys have spent together and working away in your own fields and just how much this game is coming to life and continues to like amazingly like step past where things have been before like you guys are taking inspiration from the movie but you're saying let's make them even more alive let's give them even more emotion yeah like i was dreading the whole like needing to do a new tripod mm -hmm. but it's been one of the coolest like processes to be a part of and like yeah. just be creative and like original and like come up with new ideas and i think it's come out really cool and i'm really happy that people are liking it and just as much as we are and um i hope it's received well you know like when people play the game but we also you know we want to give people the option to use the original so i think that's what makes this game good is that like you have options If any of you guys are having a good time in stream, uh, feel free to like it. Thanks for being here. Um, hello, Blanca and Ghoul and anyone else who's new. Uh, we all have discords. I have discord. Uh, Raf has a discord with his team. If you guys want to join that, feel free to join and hang out. Also, memberships are like 99 cents if you want to grab one. But uh, thanks, for everyone, for hanging out. This has been an awesome stream so far. All right. Uh, Kaniki, what are you showing?
Uh, well, I could show any sounds that you want to. I could show off the heat rays or like the the rising sound effect because that one's really complex. Really yeah, complex. let's do the rising and the heat ray deploy. I really like that one. Sure. I uh, I have to find. There's so many different files now. Uh, you can maybe play it in the video first, and then he can break it down after. Sure. Okay. Yeah. If you want, we just like go through the video. Yeah, you can yeah. just show the rising again real quick. And then we uh, heat ray deploy. destruction bro there's so much to this video we still have yet to only seven minutes in and we we finally <laughs> actually got to a heat ray deployment and uh shot it's loving the sounds man loving them yeah so he can show those real quick and explain what what he did with that if he's got it pulled up i got it pulled up sweet uh, uh let's see share screen gotta do my thing again here I get a nice thumbnail. Here we go. There we go. All right. You hear that? Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. The the rise sequence uh, was mostly at the direction of Raph. He he wanted this to be very uh, sort of mechanical sounding. I get the whole idea from Raph's direction with the new tripod sounds was it to be very metallic and and clanky and sound like there's a lot of moving parts, almost like steampunk in a way. Mm -hmm. um, so what you have here is a whole lot of different samples. Um, it's not, you know, industry standard. I don't know how much, but you know, 30 layers or so of just different different sounds that that kind of come and go and and carefully chosen spots. So yeah, uh, this is just the sound of the tripod initializing here, which is just a mix of like metal cranks and chains. Um, and a couple of samples from from Splice that have a layer, like a bunch of layers of effects on them, also, which I love. By the way, have anything? I love um, the cranking, winding sounds. They they were delicious. It's it's fantastic, um, and that's that's Raph's direction. I got to give him credit on that one. So, don't forget the uh, hydraulics. So simply like a like an initialization sound, and then when the tripod actually starts to come out, you'll hear different sounds like. Uh, even like a kick that has a lot of reverb on it. Mm-hmm. And like uh, this one's kind of fun. So it's it's just the sound of a roller coaster, but to to give it a feeling of it's it's not just you know suddenly starting and it's a crank sound. You kind of modulate the pitch so it starts off kind of low and then and then eases in. So it it just it's not just suddenly obviously a chain lift. It's it's modulated so. Just like that. Um, 
uh, helicopters sound dope when starting up. I've, everybody knows that's uh, the tripod charging sound from the 05 movie was uh, was an Abrams tank starting up. Mm. Uh, that's the sample they use. So like jet engine starting up, just a fantastic sound for for all of this. Sounds very alien. So uh, we do have a uh, like a jet ranger helicopter starting up sound in here. which is just pitched down by an octave to, to give it a bit more weight, to take it away from tiny helicopter and make it massive machine. Um, industrial electric motors, that, that start up sounds super sick. By itself, of course, it'd be super boring. So there's, there's other things that kind of complement that. And basically everything else is just different foley's, uh, different chain lifts, everything, but the the real heart of it, and where you hear that cranking sound, and uh, and everything that really gives it that industrial sort of feel is these is these big locomotives. Uh, I'm a train nerd. And the mm. sound of a locomotive starting up is is just wild. Um, so the the cranking sound you hear is a is just a typical um, locomotive startup here as it's cranking over. Just a nice, just a nice cold start. At the very end, you get like an Alco locomotive starting up as well. They're just so heavy and so industrial. Like, no, no, like dampening on the sound or anything. These locomotives are just so raw and powerful. They're, yeah, they're awesome. Um, and then, of course, I think the sound that I love the most, which was just in the 05, it was in this one as well, was this sound here. I love that sound. It's just an air compressor starting up, again, from a locomotive. But once you have all that together, you add a few chain lifts here and there, you add some uh, some Foley here and there, then you get the full thing together, which sounds like this. at the very end it just it just kind of falls on itself to to kind of bring it to a conclusion with some metal Fire. grounds mm. yeah with some metal grounds Fire. with it with just a kick and a little sub drop because they do that in the movie and i loved it um yeah there's just it's just like a combination of sounds and like little carefully picked spots to to kind of bring it all together like that. Uh, I appreciate yeah. Kaniki being like humble, you know, and giving me credit, but it's like I can't take credit for saying like three words and then him doing all this. Like this is <laughs> genius. It's like this is crazy. So he deserves all the credit for this these kinds of sounds. L definitely had a lot of inspiration. I'm really happy that. with uh, with what Kaniki did for the design. It really like brings it to life and I love the inclusion of the like the the chains like when the because the arms are like segmented right so like the the chain sound when they come out is great. Uh, do you have the heat rate deploy pulled up? I think this is it here, um, which again is just a combination of different foley sounds. I think the heart of it is is again just like a uh, I got the Abrams in there. Had to get the Abrams in there. Nice, but. Uh, the uh, just a, a big electric motor doing a doing a soft start is the heart of it. So, so cool. just a just a nice soft start, but then of course it's modulated and, and you know, at the very end we, we crank up the pitch to give it that really intense sort of like anticipation of what the hell is about to happen to me. Um, of course, saturation, um, give it some width and a little bit of alien with a flanger. And then just like the other ones, it's all just like random Foley, you know, lift sounds to bring that like segmented, uh, the segmented feeling of all the different uh, components coming out one by one different air sounds that all combines. Yeah. 
and then usually a, a, a laser will go off there. So it, it nice. transitions well. Yeah. That's it. It's, it's, it's really not that much. It's just some well-placed Foley and then a nice core sound and you got yourself a charge. Fantastic. I know Chad's I like, I don't think, I think this was maybe like the first draft. No, there was a few drafts, right? But like, I trust him with every sound. Like, I know he will always come, come through with like excellent, excellent quality. So he's a, like this game has so much hype, but a lot of it comes from just the ambience and the like feel that you get when you play the game. You could close your eyes and still enjoy the game. That's like mm. how good the sound design is. Like just the sounds are amazing and he's done it better than anybody else I could have gotten. That's probably a good way to approach the game design too. Uh, just that mentality of if you can close your eyes and enjoy it, then your audio is your audio is in a good spot. Yeah. Uh, I know since I've been following this project for so long, there's been so many different horn iterations and so many things. Um, do you guys feel like you're zeroing in on what you're going to settle with? Um, for the O5s, like right now, I I'm basically using the movie sounds at this point because, you know, at this this point, it's just going to be a mod or like a free thing. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be something we want to profit off of or anything like that. So I feel like if we're using the design, we should be able to use the sounds. We have our own sounds that we made that are uh, like super super close and. But then it's like, you know, when you play with the actual sounds, it sounds really good. So one of our close testers made a mod that's like movie sounds, so it replaces our sounds with the movie ones. And that's what's in the game right now for the O5s. And then, you know, we have our original sounds for the 2023 tripods. But, you know, like, there's also... It's the movie sounds plus the ones that Kaniki made. So you still have, like, a lot of variety. Mm -hmm. But you also have like those iconic horns from the movie as well. But nice. the Hiray sounds are still uh, made for the game, like by Kaniki. It was just the horns and the walk cycle that the walk cycle I felt was one of the more important ones to get. It's too iconic. You know? Yeah. It's too iconic. Mm. It's awesome. But I think that's a that's a good place to stop with the sound. Well, you want to show the heat rage real quick? Um, I, I could actually, it would be a good place to stop for me. I'm looking at my wife's about to leave for work. I was going to see her off, but, uh, okay. That's fine. Um, you'll see the heat, the heat ray sounds in the video anyways, a lot. <laughs> okay. So we can, uh, I'll talk about that. And he, I just really wanted for the heat rays for him to make it more punch, more like zap. even though the O5 already is, this has more of like a deep, like, I don't know, rumble to it. Versus the O5 is very like sharp, like zapping. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was too much. I think the the horns and the walk and everything were a little bit more complicated. I gotcha. But we can start to talk about. You can play the video until the tripod like walks off and it switches to the the next scene, and we'll All talk right. about. We'll introduce Temno and we'll talk about the movement the new procedural movement system that he created so you can just show it like walking now sweet oh my gosh that massive uh, storm cloud in the back too I love the destruction. Seeing cars fly around. Lighting is awesome. Look at the smoke, too. All oh, the movement's so nice and fluid. So Temno, I'll explain Temno and who Temno is. All right. And um, so basically, randomly somebody like sent me a a video of a Roblox game, and 
this is a Roblox game that's not like public or anything. It was like a private project. Mm-hmm. And well, I don't know how I managed to see it. And I asked the guy like, can you let me know this guy's like information? Because he did a walk in Roblox and maybe he'll be able to show it. Um, then when I saw that, I was like, I didn't have the intention of like hiring him. I just wanted to know like how he did it and like what um, techniques he was using. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, Roblox obviously like, you know, you have the bad Roblox stuff, but then like, I'm a, a, a fan of Roblox. I never played it, but I support what it does in terms of introducing game development to people at such a young age because like it's crazy to see what people so young are able to achieve and do and Temno's one of those people that like he he was he just turned 18 so he's still super young and like just the amount of knowledge he has and what he does is like insane so um yeah Temno you can introduce yourself and if you want I don't know if you have the Roblox project pulled up you can show that first I can pull it up. Yeah, and that way people can see what I saw and the poten- potential I saw for what he could help bring to the project. Right on. That's fine. You can show the uh, the Unity one first. Uh, all right. Okay, hold on. Just... Well, he'll show- so the walk has improved since the video, so it's even better. Nice. But, um, yeah, he'll show you that first, and then we'll show the uh, his Roblox game. You can explain um, what it does, how it works. All right. So um, this whole thing works on a single co- controller. And um, the difference between the old one is that the old one uses IK for the legs. And in my case, I've done something a little different uh, as well in the Roblox game. I use curves to uh, place bones along. And this also works with the fact that uh, the legs are telescopic, so you can scale them up and down however you want, which also needed some uh, messing with. We we had a lot of issues along the way with this. Yeah, this Um, was a process. This took, what, like? Three months. (laughs) Yeah, it's been hundreds of hours to work on this. Oh, wow. Yeah, there were a lot of bugs with this, (laughs) but it worked. Since uh, the Roblox one didn't have like textures or anything, and it was like a jumbled mess of uh, 3D models which weren't connected at all, so we had to uh, like figure those things out as well. <laughs> it was kind of funny. So right now you can see the idle animation of this. We work on this. Um, Raph showed me like a few videos of the two 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 thousand five movie. Just to mention that. Um... When I messaged him, like, he he explained to me how he did it, and I was like, look, like, you are at a level in game development where you need to, like, leave Roblox behind and, like, <laughs> start doing this shit professionally and, like, yeah. use, like, you know, like, solid game engines. And he had only used Unity, like, once or twice or something, but he jumped into Unity, and, like, I had the intention of, like, holding his hand and, like, carrying him through the whole process. And I thought I was going to be doing so much. I thought he was kind of just going to be explaining things to me, but he literally did it all on his own. Like, he learned Unity, and I walked him through it, and he was able to create this switch. So it seems like, you know, there's a there's a good ability to transition between these game engines once you're ready and you understand how all this stuff works. But, yeah, you can continue. I just wanted to say, like, he had no almost no Unity experience when he started this and he's been able to do this it's really cool it's awesome i mean, I mean yeah I, I have a lot of experience with coding in different languages so the switch up to this was pretty easy for me <laughs> at least somewhat um right so this is the idle animation as i mentioned so we went over like a few behind the scenes uh like test animations that uh Raf sent me and um, from like constant review from LD and Raf, we managed to make this a thing. It was a lot of trial and error with the system. 
So, uh, so if you actually look at the leg controller themselves, so the controller changes positions of like these handle points. Are you able to turn on the gizmos, maybe? Yeah. So you can see the curves here, like this line. So. Oh, I got gotcha. you. This, yeah. So these first two segments are like uh, set length because they don't really. They would have no, they, have, they don't scale, like, they don't elongate, they're, like, static. So, these just have two points here that just define what angle they're on. And then later on, from this point, it just, these last few points define the curve themselves. And then we just have the foot position here, and... This just makes the toe here itself align itself to the ground. <laughs> so that's how the uh, thing works. It seems so simple when you explain it. Like you're just yeah. like, well, oh, the this thing is this, like, this, that. The like, thing is, this is you would see this and be like, oh, it's a really good animation, but it's literally all code. Like there's not one yeah, keyframe of animation. Time. It's all math done in code, moving transforms and positions, and it's like. I did, never could understand how this works. Wow. But he managed to pull it off. So when that, he was doing it, I was like, I don't know what the hell you're doing out there. That, in my life. <laughs> what is the, he's, he's an alien himself learning the languages <laughs> of the tripods. Um, now, what does this do for you as far as like performance? Like, is that a main reason why you, you wanted to implement this or? Yeah, it, main reason would be perform the problem with the old system was it looked janky. It was never like, anywhere 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 near this like smooth and like fluid mm. and the performance was really bad and like no no shame to chris like he did some crazy awesome work and he really like barely charged me to do it so i was really appreciative of that but like you know with the attention this game's getting like you can't settle for mm. you know like something that's not to this level like i didn't think this would be, even be possible to get it this good but That's awesome. Now, like I'm like, yeah, like this definitely reaches my level standard that I want the game to be at. And the walk cycle was something from the very beginning that like you try to do right. I've done like a dozen walk animations, and this beats them all without a single keyframe. To me, that's like insane. That is wild to think about. That this is all taking place in code. Yeah, Gal said yeah. this is octuple A. Yeah, this is octuple A. Like, this is just like to me. This is just like the movie's movement. So, I couldn't see it better. And, it, and when he starts to make it move and crouch and everything, you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. And he he did the legs, the body, the head, the heat rays, um, and we tried to do the tentacles, but right now the tentacles have to stay the way they are. Just it's a super performance thing. Um, the tentacles work and they look decent, um, but you know, eventually we want to get some good 3D tentacles going. Yeah. Uh, you want to make it walk around and stuff? Something funny. Uh, I like what some three said in chat. They can literally, they literally can make a new War of the Worlds movie. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that'd be yeah. dope. I'll, uh, well, I'll photo scan myself movie? in and we'll have some actors and we'll make a movie, you know? Yeah. Anything better than a movie is a game, so. Hey, yeah, you yeah. get to play it yourself. <laughs> so, so you want to explain how it works and show like what happens when you move the target and all that. Yeah, yeah. So essentially, so as I said, or as Rav mentioned, I made the movement of the entire body right now. It's all being uh, like edited by code at the moment. So the head movement, the <laughs> legs, uh, even the heat rays also move. But he, uh, Rav made like a little. Uh, deploy animation for the heat race, which then I I couldn't replicate in code. So we had like some things that we have like blending to add and like, also with the yeah, rise so, animation itself. Yeah, so the rise and the heat ray deploy, we add to animate and then we blend the animation into his procedural movement. Um, and it worked out. It was a nightmare, like it was a lot of time for <laughs> yeah. you, but, um, you know, you had to make it work because I have to make it look good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the job. Yeah. So the head movement, it tries to look at this point and it has some kind of offset. For example, right now it's, it has this idle animation, so it kind of looks around. Mm -hmm. So 
Uh, when I move this point, the head moves to it first and then the body. And it gets oh here, my it gosh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Chat. Oh my gosh. And also another thing. Um, I don't know. Maybe turn on another it's directional so light. It's kind of dark. Maybe you can uh, duplicate the directional light and rotate it a little bit. Just to like, because it's hard to see. Yeah, get some fill light on that boy. There we go. There. <laughs> yeah, just rotate it. Yeah, yeah. Now you can see a lot better. Perfect. That was that was so smooth. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, you haven't seen anything yet, bro. Just wait. <laughs> oh my god, I'm excited. So, I'm thinking back to the early days when the feet were still sliding around. Yeah. It was a. Uh, it's this is completely. This is a whole other level. This is a next I, gen. This is next, next, next gen. Shit. Yeah. This is like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so PS6 that... release. Yeah. Wait, wait. Don't talk about console console release. Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, since I am able to control the rotation of the torso and the head, mm -hmm. um, we ac I accidentally made it so um, the head itself like slowly rotates, and it's not like a set rotation. So once you apply like a rotation to it different than it's supposed to. It like slowly smooths in. So this allowed us to like, um, once the head gets hit by a missile or something, it's able to like, it has like a knockback and stuff. So if I, I can simulate it somewhat. So it like <laughs> smooths in. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, so I implemented this with the impacts of like missiles when their shields are down. So, you know, in the movie when they get hit, there's a lot of like impact and they move, they get pushed back. So this was a really cool. when he did this, it was kind of like a, it wasn't intentional, and yeah. he was like, "Oh, you can use this for that." I was like, oh, "Okay," and then it worked really well. So <laughs> the bonus, That's yeah. so sick. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, having cool. everything be interactive with code, making it seamless for your gameplay and what you're implementing. Like, exactly. oh, I need this missile to cause this to react. Now you don't have to like work with an animator guy. You just use the code. Exactly. Like, yeah. That's the bit. That's why I call it the procedural movement system because it's all procedural. You can like do whatever you want with it, really. So you want to show them like some move, like turning, walking, crouching, and yeah, stuff. sure, we can do that. All right, hold on. So you guys can see how how well the toes adapt to the terrain and everything. So here is it's walking. <laughs> it's awesome. So with the walk, I told him I want a lot of like, I want it to be dynamic. So it's like the the height that it stands and how like wide its its legs are from its torso. Like that's all random. So it's always gonna look like a little bit different. Oh, okay. Whether it stands up really tall or whether it like has its legs more spread out. Um. And then, like same with the idle. Like that's all random. It's not on the loop. It's all just like procedural and it looks fluid. And it's just like, it's crazy. This is awesome. Look at this, look at this cute little guy. He's like having him out for a walk. This is awesome. <laughs> Maybe zoom in on the toes here when it hits the. the toes. Yeah, that's gotta look awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, it looks like your render distance is like. Uh... I'll try double clicking the middle mouse. Oh. Double click the middle mouse button. They did. Did it work? No, it's still causing this. Um, oh, it must be your shadow distance. So, uh, um, yeah, I guess just. That's still cool though. Like I can maybe disable the other the other directional light. I think that's what's causing it. The second one you made just disable. There we go. And then if you zoom in, I don't think it'll have that that shadow anymore. Nice. Oh, dude, look at that. That's fantastic. Yeah, dude. Kudos. Like, solid stuff, man. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, and even the like the back leg whipping around the front leg so yes! it doesn't clip through them. Yeah, so you can see that, right? Like, if you change the direction, yeah, the legs go around the other ones so that they don't <laughs> clip through you. That, I, honestly... Dude, I, I wouldn't even know how you start to figure that out.
<laughs> like <laughs> chat we're witnessing like this game be so well made this is so sick it's so many levels that's why i uh, hold temno so highly like this is really impressive stuff yeah like there's and it's, it's it's uncanny from the movie like i can't see yeah the difference you know i i really like that you pointed that out how it it like it knows where its legs are I guess yeah. uh I guess long are the days of the uh glitched out uh images that people will snap of the tripod hitting the gritty and doing yeah, all kinds Michael of funky Jackson. things. So <laughs> yeah. if you, anyone has those images, uh just check well, I mean Hemno can make it do some funny stuff. Maybe do oh, that I'm like sure. <laughs> oh, oh no, okay, hold on. Uh oh <laughs> just, uh -oh. <laughs> just to show you like how procedural it is. Like, okay, like, okay. Like all these settings have to be can, can do this. <laughs> oh, you can shorten the step distance. Yo. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can make it faster essentially. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's make awesome. It, make it have longer steps. Like, yeah, yeah, make it have like huge steps. Holy crap! This yeah, is like, fantastic. Like, like it really steps out really far. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh my gosh! Yeah. The yeah, slender the pod. The slender pod is real. It can hurt okay, you. Okay, okay. Bring it back to normal. That's, that's oh first. my gosh! That's amazing. But I just chose like you know the modularity the system has and how much tweaking he had mm. to do to like yeah get it right. You know. Wow, that's fantastic. Also, me being as tall as I am, that's basically how I walk in real life, and so I, I appreciate the representation. <laughs> Void boy simulator. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. Let's um, do the crouch now. We want to show the crouch. Yeah. Now, this um, this model is going to have all this information in it, right? So, with people being able to get this model, I'm sure they're going to be able to do wacky things with that. Is that what we're kind of predicting here? <laughs> Like the amount um, of fan videos that could come out with like it dancing or whatnot, or well, you would have to know what you're doing. Yeah. You'd have to know what you're doing, and look at it's not like there's a like, controller in the game to like control the tripod. Unless I mean there is actually the exterminator mode, but you can't like make it dance and do stuff okay. unless you like um, find a way to access certain values, like the ones he's editing. Then do whatever you want, but I don't think it would be able to do that because my code constantly overrides those positions. Yeah, so yeah. I need to have an issue with that. <laughs> but you can see how much smoother the crouch looks. Yeah, man. Now. Yeah, this this is this is very exciting uh, to me. Uh, thinking about how far you can take this, like, so this is working like this with terrain. Uh, do you also plan to implement stuff like this with buildings as well, or is that so? Right how big now, it's Right now, it it plants its toes on the roofs of the buildings. Oh, it's so it does. Is that in the video? Because again, we are like ten percent through the video. It, I think it is, and okay. I don't. I have. I'm going to. Um, I'm taking my girlfriend to the cabin for the night. Oh, sick. So I don't want to take too long. I might not be able to stay for the whole video because it's an hour long. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, that's fine. But I want to get everybody to talk about you know what we've done, and then you can do your reaction. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure in the video you you see it once or twice. That's phenomenal, man. I've been uh, hoping to see that uh, for a while, and, and I'm excited. Um, but yes, chat, the the sniffing is intense right now. <laughs> yeah, so this is just crouch idle. idle. Yeah, he made like a harvest idle. That's so, so cool, it's, man. So it's harvesting without the tentacles. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How long, um, uh, uh, ten, Temno? Yeah, yeah. Um, how long does it take you to set up, like, an idling animation? So, like, there's something you want to think of. Like, you want to set up harvesting. How long does that take? Um, I mean, it took, like, 30 minutes, and then we had, like, a few hours to edit it around. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it was like he would kind of like get the general idea, and then I would sit there for hours and be like, eh, "Change this," or like maybe some other clothes testers would like be like, "Oh, maybe this needs to be like this." And then it was him basically taking like a lot of um, feedback. All of it was constructive, but a lot of it wasn't worded properly, so you'd have people being like, mm. you know, just saying ignorant things, because you know, in the beginning it was like it was rough, mm -hmm. but 
<laughs> we saw we knew the potential like i had seen it in roblox i knew do you have that pulled up yet by the way oh i i i had to uh, remove it because it would get in my screen right now but i can uh, yeah, I, i'm pretty sure uh you don't have like a gif or anything that you have oh yeah i do have some gifts i can you can put that. them in the in the chat and oh, then you can show those on the screen but um from the beginning i saw the potential but I never thought it would be this good. Like I'm still like shook that he was able to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. You've got to feel pretty like satisfied and fulfilled, man, with your project. Yeah, um, definitely. Like it's just the people I work with. Like they're so talented, way more talented than me. I'm just stubborn and persistent, and get like I'm passionate. You know, I want to get this game done. Yeah, but I couldn't do it without themselves. It wouldn't be the level of quality that it's at. I'm just not that capable to do all these things as good as they do. <laughs> Dude. This game is like a combination of like people being really good at something and just like and just helping out. I just uh I it's amazing to see what has blossomed thinking just back to those early videos and that footage of you plopping that model into the world in Unity and like yeah, it's crazy. Like, I was looking about bro. that when I, when I was testing the game earlier. I'm like, yeah. I had to like kind of wake myself up and be like, "This is real." Like, I actually made this game, and I just remember I'm a huge War of the Worlds fan, and like, I remember like my crappy animation was my first video on YouTube, like 15 years ago, and then like just to be here now with this game, and like, I'm happy that I was the one to do it, and that I can do it for you guys, and we can all enjoy this because you know like honestly if i didn't do it like i don't think anybody was gonna do it yeah i mean so. like yeah this wasn't on the horizon so yeah and shout out to you know all those roblox developers that are trying to make the game too but you know <laughs> you know you know, <laughs> you know who, who yeah i before we watch these you know what's funny is uh there was a Roblox developer that reached out to me a while back, and he was making some game. Um, I know people in the community talked about it. I forget exactly what it was called. Um, dang, it's like on the tip of my tongue. Um, but he was trying to make it like serious and like do well with it, and they wanted me to like close test it and and showcase it and stuff. And I just never got around to it. And I don't know. Maybe I'm a little biased, but it's like it's Roblox. Like I don't know. Like that's, I just I didn't really grow up playing Roblox. I didn't spend a whole lot of time playing Roblox, so I don't really have an a, attachment to it like other people might. Um, and I have this, so <laughs> like <laughs> uh, maybe I'll cover it in the future. But so these are gifts right. from. Yeah, Ro uh, is this in Roblox? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is Roblox game. This is what I saw. Um, they made me message him. It's awesome. Yeah, so that's just the tentacles picking people. Okay. Um, and he made that model too, so. Oh, okay, I was yeah. going to ask. That's, a, that's one of the best Roblox models I've seen, so. Yeah. You know, he's he's multi-talented. Look at you just poaching people from Roblox. What a smart business mentality. <laughs> like, oh, I like that. Come here, you're going to work with me now. <laughs> I mean, this is, like, better than anything yeah. I could have done or that Chris ever did or that I've seen. So I was like, I have to, I have to, you know. If I never made that message, like the game wouldn't be where it's at right now. So sick. Like those little like same with Eld, like I just messaged him like, yo, I saw his work and I was like, yo, like mm. let's work, let's work, let's cook. Yeah. And look where we're at now. You boys been cooking. <laughs> Chad, they've been yeah. cooking for real for yeah, what, sure. two, three years now? Yeah. Um April I think twenty sixth would be four three years. Okay. Since my first video, which was like literally the first day that I started working on the game, I posted okay. the very first video. Yeah. Um, what's so funny is I was looking at my calendar and I, I set like an alert for when I started. And I'm coming up on three years from when I started YouTube as well. Um, Say three years, two years. Cool. Stars aligned, man. Yeah. Um, and everybody's like, you know, they say things like, oh, GTA 6 before War of the Worlds and like. <laughs> oh, this game is taking so long, but like it's really not. Like you have to think how long I've been working on it, and in that time, it wasn't that I was just working on this game. I had taken time off. I was working on Emergent YC, which, for the first year and a half or two years, was my main game that I was focused on. 
and then you know just like in the last year or so i recently was like shifting my focus to this game full time like this has to be my priority yeah and um you know like it's moving fast like especially with me being really the only one that works on the game in the game engine you know temno does unity work in his own project but he's not in the actual game project mm -hmm. and so i have to do like all <laughs> the tedious stuff yeah um but, i mean yeah. for anyone looking to make this progress go faster just uh, be like me and disappear for like five months and then come back and you know things will be moving very fast so yeah i mean honestly um, i don't really envy raf uh, when the <laughs> l pod was the thing he had to get all these get all this code and had to reset it up for the tripod <laughs> so yeah so the l pod was like we well, finished the o5 we we're like finally like we could breathe and then it was like l was like oh i finished the l pod <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, <laughs> we had to set it up for that, and that thing had its own stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I nitpicked so much. I'm sorry. That <laughs> I'm really like I'm really proud of Temno because like I hate I don't hate, but like it's hard to have people like tell you how to change stuff and improve stuff. I mean, I I always embrace it because that's how this game has gotten to where it is, is from me just listening to people's feedback and criticisms, but like. You know, Temno, like, his job was basically just, like, people were like, that doesn't look right, that doesn't look right, change that, change that. And, like, he, <laughs> he just thugged it out, and he looked, like, look where it ended up. And Fantastic. there was some bickering with LD with the rig and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, and then there was uh, so many... Yeah. I ran into, for two months, from December to, like, end of January, um, my drive, like, I lost, like, maybe six weeks of work. I and... do remember that. And miraculously, like I found it, <gasps> and then I was like, I found it. I got back on track. Oh, and nice. but I was there was like a month or two in the end of beginning of this last year that I wasn't really. I was working on a marriage. I put out a big update for that because I didn't want that game to get neglected and people say that I abandoned it because I haven't. You know, I mm. still work on both games, but right now, War of the Worlds, like. I put out a video, it'll get like 5,000 views, and then, you know, what War of the Worlds does, like a million views on mm -hmm. every video, so it's like, where do I have to prioritize my effort? <laughs> yeah. And I, I I think a lot of the community knows that in Emerging YC, so I appreciate them being patient. Yeah, I think uh, looking at your two games, would you say, like, this project has already surpassed your previous work? Or um, Not yet? It's hard to say, because, like, it will I mean like we as we grow as as humans as developers as whatever you do like you're always gonna get better. Mm -hmm. um, and I put a lot of time and effort into Merge and YC and I think I made it a great firefighting game. Mm -hmm. And I obviously like it came out in 2016, so it's been almost wow. You oh know, my almost gosh. ten years. Yeah. So like over time, these games die. Like they don't have the same player base and people move on so it's like i don't want to keep trying to like beat a dead horse with emerge nyc i still want to keep it updated i love to play it i love to work on it but um this game is the future you know for not just for me but for all of us here all right so, you want to show the aliens let's go well, i can show that in a bit and there's also the uh, heat rays yeah. that also have like are also adapted to the idle animation and stuff. So uh, let me just actually make it. Oh, oops. <laughs> so these are the procedural heat rays that he's done. Yeah. Originally, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it, but I'm glad we did. Nice. So they showed how it. This is the animation I did, and then at yeah. the end, it blends into his heat rays right about there you go now <laughs> cool and then they just look so much more natural now and they move like sometimes they're like that's all random too like how high it holds them up and uh it just gives it a whole different like it's not an animated loop like you don't see the same things all the time it always looks like it's alive and like it's it's just really cool fantastic man yeah, all, all those things, all these things compound too. So, uh, I'd say that's why the game is looking more and more impressive, because all these layers. So. Yeah, I mean, the video you're gonna watch is like two months old, so 
a lot has <laughs> happened. There's a lot of improvements. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, well, if you put out another video soon, I'm, we'll, we'll be hitting another reaction at some point. But yeah, um, very cool, dude. Awesome, awesome addition to the team. Yeah, this this is a godsend. Do you feel like the team is uh, fully built out to how you want it, or you approach it in a way where if there's just something that comes up and you say, oh, I don't know, you didn't necessarily have a need for it, but you realize that now you do, so you try and add that person? Or... Yeah, I mean, I've had like people help. Because um, I call people project members. I wouldn't necessarily say we're like a, an active development team because nobody here is on a schedule. Like. Mm -hmm. It's all like they work and whenever they want, I tell them like, oh, we could use this or that. And then, you know, they, I pay them, but they don't have like a, you know, like a set schedule. They still have their lives and their jobs. Temno's still in yeah. school. Kaniki's a pilot. Eld is like a emergency dispatcher type of thing. And, um, but like if anybody has like talents and they have something to contribute and I see the, potential like i'm always open to working with people and and their contributions and that's i love that because i love collaborating with people who are not only talented but passionate about the same things because the only way you can get this what you see on your screen is like by people who are passionate to get it to look this good and close to the movie like if i could have just found somebody on upwork or something like they wouldn't know what i want you know like they can make an animation but it wouldn't be this good yeah stem knows a big war of the world span too and he was the perfect person for this for sure yeah definitely a good pick see you mad lad thank you for helping out buddy i'll catch you soon <laughs> um, and here if you play that you can see um he also added a spotlight he made like a spotlight system so the spotlights move a lot more like the movie and they have like momentum they don't like go behind the head anymore so it's like, well, the whole tripod pretty much, including the AI and the movement, was built from scratch again. Oh, you're talking about this like, in, the, in the film? In um, your video? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll play it so we can see. Yeah, so this is um, the 05 in the last video. You can see the spotlights look a lot better. The colors too are nice. The flashing. Yeah. Yeah, they look they look very like the movie. This is a message from the National Alert Broadcast System. This is not a test. The U.S. National Department of Homeland Security has issued a state of emergency for the continental United States to all available stations. An unknown enemy force has invaded the mainland United States. At this time, it is not known who this force represents. Massive power failures have been reported across the United States. The following states are affected. New York, Maryland, Virginia, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Florida, Are these states based Illinois, off of the book or movie or anything? Texas. Um, no. I think they're just whatever the guy came yeah. up with. Oregon. Washington State and the yeah. District of Columbia. <laughs> the book is in England. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> oh, so we can talk about the RV a little bit um, while, El while um, Tim Miller gets the team in the um, You should pull up the cabin too so they can see that. Um, but the RV, I was like, this is a cool thing to add because yeah. it's like a base on wheels, you know, you can stay yeah. there, which is important in this game. But you can also have the sense of like, having a, a base, you know, like a home base where you can... I like it because, you know, in this new update there's a huge map expansion and you have uh, a bunch of different nature areas mm. and you can, like, go out and camp and try to wait out the invasion and hope they don't come to you because they do sometimes. Oh, it's seen that light, dude. That looks like the movie. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, look at him. You can see his... Oh, my gosh, this shot is so good. Bro. Oh, uh, you know what's really cool about the um, RV, too, is if you have friends, like if you're playing with friends, you can all fit together. Yeah, multiplayer is going to be the next major task. Mm -hmm. um, we've managed to knock out a lot 
um, or like the major things that we need before early access. So multiplayer is one of those last things. Fantastic. Um, we showing the aliens now? Whenever you're ready, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. I have it on. Here. Yeah. Let's see. It. All right. I'm gonna fill up some water. Chat. We'll be right back, and when we come back, we're gonna look at the aliens. All right. So the aliens, we made sure like this isn't using anything from before. If you've seen the last videos, you know the aliens have always looked weird. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna so I'm gonna be right back though. I'm gonna grab yeah, some I'll water. Give them, I'll oh, give you're gonna talk to them? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I just had to sip water. <laughs> but um I knew like if Temno could make the tripods look that good, like he could do something really good for the aliens. And he has he has delivered. Um we I think it's it looks as good as it as it can look for right now. Um so whenever Void gets back he can show you. But if you want to talk a little oh, I think Temno went to get water too, but um yeah they're a lot scarier now they move a lot more naturally um kaniki made some new sounds for them um and i reworked a lot of their ai and yeah are you there Tendo? yeah i'm back you want to explain how it works a little bit different it's not the same as the, the tripod right i mean the controller is somewhat the same except instead of curves for the legs it just uses a basic ik so yeah, it's about that. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Tell me more. Hmm. Well, it does a lot of uh, checking for walls, and it can place its legs on the walls and stuff. Yeah, and that's awesome. How are you doing that? Well, using okay. a bunch of raycasts and... Uh, then determining which is the uh, like after like a con couple of conditions, uh, determining which to use. So that's about it. <laughs> nice. Are you using sphere casts or raycasts? Um, some things I use sphere casts for, and some things are uh, normal raycasts. Nice. You seem like a very distinguished gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Not a boy, Tim, though. Yeah. Let's uh let's make it walk around some more, see what happens. Yeah. I really like how it just like put places its feet on the walls and stuff. Yeah. Somebody asked if we have plans for an original alien um eventually, but it's not on my list anytime soon right now. Because I want Eld to first uh, do a new pro model for the Eld pod and the O5. And, you know, whenever he's... That's, like, whenever he has the time and whatnot. And whenever he's done with that, we can start looking at new aliens. But I'm just dreading, like... If we do new aliens, they have to have the same rig again. Because I don't want you to have to do the whole a new animation system for them. Uh, there go there goes my idea yeah, of right. tentacles <laughs> to or to absolutely torment Temo. <laughs> yeah, let's wait for Void Boy to get back so we mm -hmm. can show it more. Yeah, I've Friends. just been working on some other stuff. Yeah, no, take your time. I know it's easy to burn out when you work on the same thing for so long. Yeah, exactly. That's why he's back. Yo, yo, that yeah. looks amazing, dude. What a thing to come back to. Make it walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he was explaining how he uses raycasts and spearcasts to check for surfaces. Um, for the the feet to get placed oh, on. Dude, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. You know what's wild is I remember. You remember that one video where he like comes and runs up the stairs real quick. Yeah, and he's like all janky. Yeah, he's all janked, and I was thinking like then like oh man, I can't wait till like in the future like hopefully like there's enough like IK or if that's what you're using for him to like push yeah, off stuff. So he uses a mix of his tripod and his uh, and IK instead of the curves that he uses. 
Mm. Well, I'll let him explain it. He just mentioned all this before you got back. Uh, well, you don't have to repeat it. I can always go back and watch unless you want to. Yeah, I mean, there's just a bunch of raycast that first checks if there's like a wall. If there's not a wall, then it just uh, puts it on the ground. If there is a wall, it checks. If it's uh, furniture instead, or if, it, if, and if that's not the case, it checks if there's like a higher position and it, you know, it goes there. <laughs> there's like a bunch of stuff that checks for. So awesome, man. It also uh, changes its walk cycle depending on like the speed, since um, some some of its limbs are like shorter than others. So like when mm. it walks fast, it uses like a cycle of like left, back, right, back, and so on. And when it's slowly, it does like a normal like walk. It walks like like a tripod, like left, back, right. Oh, okay. So on. Yeah. That, dude, the attention to detail. Oh my gosh. Mm. I, I, I mean, you know how much work you're giving me for the next documentary, guys? Like, come on. Like, you stop being eating. so professional. <laughs> I mean, um, I wouldn't have done it other, <laughs> but um, what was happening is when we, we wanted it to be faster, but mm. when it was faster, the limbs weren't the fast enough. So, and when it was fast, when we made the animation itself fast, it looked kind of janky. So, mm. uh, yeah. Yeah, he is smart for thinking of like changing the step cycle so that they can keep up mm. yeah and i redesigned the alien ai to use this new system so it basically follows like a nav agent on a nav mesh okay and searches throughout it has an fov that can detect people um i added also like rocks and stuff you can throw to distract the probe and the aliens when they're like searching so like if they're coming in your room you can like throw a rock or something to distract them awesome um I'm not gonna lie, the game is really hard. Like, if you get probed, it's almost a death sentence because if you go outside, you're likely gonna get spotted by the tripod. If you wait the probe out, then the aliens come in and they're likely, you're not gonna be able to hide from them unless you have like guns. Um, so you just gotta, you gotta figure it out once it happens to you. I, I just beat my game for the first time like a month ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic that's awesome man i love that you're leaning towards it being hard and scary and difficult um and also you know peaceful because there's that time where was oh, yeah. it so, early so we were talking about that yesterday Timno was playing the game and yeah. uh you know there's so much time where it's just like quiet and like nothing's really happening and then in this in like one second all hell breaking loose. Mm -hmm. Demno gets lucky because all his close calls in the military he comes out of nowhere and saves his ass. <laughs> and he should be dead. Yeah, like made correct energy right there. <laughs> I also like that uh, how, and I don't know if this is intentional, but how like slimy and like frog like the alien looks. Like I actually like that. It looks very like it would be gross to touch this alien. He he would feel weird and kind of like a frog, but that's what it looks like to me. I mean, it would look kind of different in uh, in games since right now there's not like uh, any. It's not like edited lightning, like just like in the games, so it looks kind of different. Um. So just FYI, I have to leave in like twenty minutes. All right. Um. Because I got to get ready and go. My girl's waiting for me. But. I got you. Um, I do want to talk about. Uh, maybe you can show the Discord previews I showed in the game updates channel which is some of the new stuff that will be shown more in depth in the next video. But, um, and this is like older footage, like it's probably like a week or two older um, from when I hit 100,000 subscribers. Yay. Oh, I'm sick. getting my, um, my plaque next week, so I'm excited oh, about dude. that. Oh, dude, yeah, also, I'm sorry, I totally forgot, but congrats, man. That's that's a huge, huge accomplishment. Crazy, I'm so happy. And I'm, yeah. I'm very thankful. But, um... Uh, game updates, you said? Yeah, game updates. I posted a few like gifts or oh, videos. Nice. Wow. So you can Should we start here? Austria. You can start on the first one. Ooh. So this is basically building structure. Um, I'll just let it play and we'll talk about it after. Okay. Yeah, it was loud. I couldn't hear you for a sec. Oh my gosh. Uh, 
Yes! Fire! Look at this destruction, man. Yeah. Oh, look, and you can see the feet down here. Stepping on stuff. Dude. Yeah, like you were at, like you were saying. Dude. You see how it steps like at the toes level. It's Dude. Cool. Oh my gosh. So sick, bro. And this next one is a daytime shot of destruction with the L pod. Also, really liking the detail in here, like this charred, yeah, rubble. It's very, very yeah. nice. <laughs> Dude, this is so sick. So sick, man. Oh, oh, it's so creepy. Is that thing breathing? Yeah. Bro. I got cornered by two of these things. Like one came from one door and the other one came from the other. Oh my it was, gosh. Uh, it was freaky. Bro, kudos, man. Yeah, Temno did great. Um, kudos, that is so creepy. Yeah. Oh, it's like this face of death. It's awesome. And uh, one more. Or two more. Not so the this house. shows more, basically, like the houses or buildings, when you hit them, they have, like, basically health. Mm. So you can... Take them out, like if you heat ray them enough, or if they stay burning, they'll they'll collapse eventually, or they'll just burn out if they have enough health and just stay charred. And it looks pretty cool when you have like like destroyed buildings and collapsed buildings everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. The church, not the church. Yeah, so uh, the blood can do red weed. So I I changed the red weed completely. Oh really? So we use decals now instead of like procedurally generated meshes, and you'll okay. see how much better it looks. Um, in this oh. video and in the clips after. Yeah. So cool. Ah, oh, look at that. All over the. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah, you can see on the church there. Yeah. So there's some pictures after this post that show a little bit closer up. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly, man. So I felt decals was a better way to go about red weed. The red weed we had before was like. It just wasn't dense enough, like, mm. and it was super performance intensive to, yeah. like, generate 3D at runtime. So this is really cheap performance-wise, and it looks a ton better. Yeah. The only real downside to the decals is that um, you don't really see them, like, grow and spread out. They kind of just fade in. Um, but it's a very small thing, like, you won't really notice. That's that's still dope, though, and to, and to be smart and pursue performance while... You can see the off. horizon 
in the distance you have new volumetric height fog. So the way it works is the horizon fog and the fog you see in the foreground that all gets more dense. Basically, each time a tripod sprays red weed, like you add a value to that, and it adds up to be. So it progressively gets denser over time. Oh, and, like, so everything's day three, just day four. You have like red. like that movie when he walks out. Yeah. Dude, so um, cool. You remember yeah, so back like, your early implementation of red weed? Yeah. Where there was like pipes. They were, they were the old yeah. screensaver. <laughs> it was like they were like doo, 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 like going everywhere. Yeah, and I hate that people were like, "It looks so good." I'm like no, don't don't encourage that. <laughs> I'm just um, I really like I'm trying to make this a quality game, mm. and like I know the responsibility I have with the amount of hype this game has and the following in the community. Like I can't afford to to do it wrong, you know. Mm. I I don't want to do that, so I want to make sure I do it right and get it right, and it's really hard, but. I've just seen like the progress and the I trust, you know, I trust the process. And everybody in the all the close testers say in ramp we trust, which <laughs> I appreciate that because like I need that. Like I need you guys to trust me that I'm mm -hmm. like I'm working hard every day. I'm trying to make it the best I can. I want to make the best game that I can make. So trust me, please. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think they definitely do trust you, and hopefully. Um you being so transparent and coming on as many times as you have for live Q and A's also helps that because it's like, Hey, you're, you're here, you're available and you're showing us what you got and it's always improving. So. And shout out to close tester Thunderchild. He helped me with some of the red weed decals. I basically used like AI and fed it in for like images of the red weed from mm. the movie that I found on Google. And then manage to, after like hours and hours and hours, to get it to like generate something. But then it was still like rough around the edges because AI doesn't like fading things out and making decals. Mm. So he helped me smooth out those edges and create like a fractal effect on the edges to make it look more seamless. Yeah. <gasps> you know, AI, uh oh. Do we have to cancel Raph now, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. People have can you, do how they want about AI. But. Have uh, have you had any backlash because of using AI? Or... Um, I was doing a close tester stream the other day, mm -hmm. and I mentioned like people were talking about the NPC AI voices. Oh, and um, they were like, "You need to get voice actors," and I'm like, "I don't know if you understand how much work that is, and money, mm -hmm. and like hours, and." versus like the system I have where I have like thousands of lines of dialogue in seconds. Um, obviously I can make it sound better, but I I think it was a voice actor guy and he was like, after I mentioned what I felt about AI and like how I feel it's the future, like we're living in the revolution mm -hmm. of AI, like it's pretty wild. Game development has to evolve with it. And it is like, if you look at all these, like Unity just started like their own chat GPT thing called Muse and all these game developers are using AI like you can't afford to not like move with the time you know I'm yeah I'm trying to keep up with the technology that's out there whether it was when I used HDRP or the AI stuff and yeah. uh you I know it's it sucks for people who like are gonna lose work for it but like I can't do anything about that it's gonna happen whether I want to or not and they were like oh you lost a supporter because like I don't support how you feel about AI and this mm -hmm. and that but, um, you know, I'm sorry they felt that way, but I'm sure, like, especially with, like, the AI radio voices, you hear that, like, that sounds really cool, and, like, AI can do that. Yeah. And I don't see why we shouldn't, you know, use that as long as we have, you know, the rights or the permissions or whatever, or you, you know, you have to be smart with it and, you know, use it right. You can use it bad and you can use it good, and I'm trying to use it good. Yeah. Yeah, I think We've when got I first real voices here and there. Oh, what's up? We've got like real voices here and there. Yeah, 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 and that's good too. Um, you know, I think you know AI is definitely progressing. I think when I first heard the voices, I was like, oh, that's like clearly AI. It didn't have like life to it. But I also understood your decision. But I think also nothing can replace the real human. But also I you agree. have to weigh out obviously like your 
budget, you know? Um, so I agree. But also, like, I think in the next few years, maybe even year or two, like, it'll be, you'll be un- unable to tell the difference. I don't know if you've seen it's the ChatGPT video stuff they're doing. Dude, Sora, it, I'm telling yeah, you. Like, uh, let me not even get into it, but, like, yeah, let's, you have to imagine if they can do that, they can make voices sound real. I just saw an article. I didn't listen to it, but they were saying they've already been able to make voices, like, that you can't even tell the difference. So, yeah. Um, I guess we can yeah. we can answer some questions the chat has real quick for me before I have to go. And the other guys can hang out as long as they want, but I don't want to... Yeah, if you guys got to bounce at any time, that's totally fine. I appreciate you stopping in and uh, no being a part of the stream. It's always a joy to hang out with you guys. So, yeah, chat, if you have any questions, let's uh, let's hit them up now for the guys while they're here. And I'll see if there's Somebody any said if you could, in. you can always ask people to help with the voice acting, which I did in the past. Um, the problem with that is that everybody has different mics. You can tell the difference. Some guys aren't voice actors, so you can tell, like, they're kind of just acting. Mm-hmm. Which, like, you know, a lot of the AI voices are really bad, but there's some that are really good. So, um, it's, a, uh, you know, I tried the whole voice acting thing first, but it was, um, it's just hard to make it sound like it belongs there because everybody sounds different. And I saw another question earlier. Somebody was asking if you can get out with the aliens when you play as the tripods. That's on my list of things to do, and it will be a feature. Um, I know the number one question is release date, and I don't even have a release date for my next close sister update. So I, I'm no place to... I would love to get it done as soon as possible. That's that's all I can say. I work on it every day for m- most of the day. Like I'd say 80% of my life goes to this game. So I'm working alone pretty much and just trying to get this done. And, you know, as soon as I have, I know like once we hit close tester update is the next milestone that should be any day now. Um, And then I want to get a new video out for all the YouTube people and then really polish that update. And then I'm going to move into implementing multiplayer. And then once that's done, I will be ready for early access, most likely. There's no telling how long that's going to take, um, so I can't really say. But, you know, that's all I can say about that. And let's see, any more questions? Release date, release date, release date. I know, I know. That's, that's the one's most popping up. Uh, I'm sure I might have some after I see the whole video and just kind of catch up. But Yeah, we can do those in the next... They, yeah, there they has to be void. I'm gonna have to like give you the pre, like a premiere for the video, so you can do a reaction, like not two months later. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but yeah, man, I was waiting for your video, but I get it. Life happens, and we're all just glad you're back. And I thank you for allowing us to come on here again to speak uh, and share, you know, what we love to do. And I'm glad I can get these guys. You know, all their hard work shown and heard. Mm. And yeah, I love every second of it. So I'm excited to to get there. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh... Welcome back, Happy. Welcome. Oh, wait. Back. David Baggett asked Kaniki, how did you become so cool? <laughs> oh, that's a very good question. Glad you asked, man. Listen, it's not easy. But... <laughs> Whoever that David Baggett is, such a such a big fan of yours, Kaniki. Yeah. Um, Number one. He's cool. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back, man. It's been a hot minute, so glad to have you back in the game. <laughs> Thank you. Um, honestly, yeah, I appreciate uh, the, the warm welcome back from you guys from chat. Uh, yeah, kind of got stressed out, a little burnout, had to figure out some things with uh, real life, making ends meet, and um, in a better position, and wanted to come back And uh, when I felt ready. And so we're ready, so we're here, and I'm glad to have uh, started my first stream back with you guys. Also, Grim, right, I see gonna, you avoid better stream it. I will. I'll be around. <laughs> I'm going to speed run these uh, questions that I see here, and then I got to dip. Do it. But um, somebody asked, when we play as a tripods in game, okay, I already answered that one. Um, somebody said, will aliens be able to eat human food? Um, right now they don't eat, but... I do want to make them interact more with like 
props and stuff um like to make them seem more curious but that's like a whole nother level of stuff there um i'll have to talk to temno about that <laughs> <laughs> um let's see guys any questions oh somebody asked uh what inspired me to create this game i just loved the movie when it came out i watched it like four times in theaters and i was like 12 or something i don't know but um it'd be a good time to selfishly just plug my documentary there's definitely some answers yeah there as so well. you guys should definitely go watch that a lot of backstory i don't like to watch it because I, everything's so outdated and i'm like <laughs> i just cringe at like i didn't even want to do this video because i didn't want to like have to review like an old video because i've done uh, so much so i see something i'm like oh i fixed that already or yeah improve that but thankfully i won't have to be here for that <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> any other what inspired refs i already asked that got any words of inspiration for aspiring game devs? great question um just be prepared to like sacrifice everything if you're really serious about it like if you if you want to be at the level that i am and like where i'm at i this is my job like i don't have a job um i do want to i do have my firefighting plans for next year and that's what i like want to do for the rest of my life i wouldn't want to do this for the rest of my life just because it's it's a lot like it's just your life like that's all you do every day mm -hmm. all day and you have to deal with you know the negative side like people criticizing you and like you work so hard and people will always just like say things that makes you feel bad you just got to push through and like use that to fuel and like keep pushing keep improving it just takes time like you just have to be consistent all the time and I know you know Void, like, you made your game for the the jam. <laughs> now imagine, like, to the scale that this is, like... Yeah, know, like, I completely fell off game dev, too. <laughs> I was yeah, like, so it's, uh, you'll know pretty quickly, like, if it's cut out for you. Yeah. But, like, I'm thankful I have my motivation to do it because I get paid for it. So I, I remember, like, for a decade I was doing it for just, like, for fun. Yeah. And... You know, once you get to the point where you can do it for money, then you're like, okay, I love to do it, and I get paid for it. There's nothing better than that. So my advice is just, like, get good at it and make it work for you. Like, don't waste your time or too much time, like, making demos or, like, little pro prototypes. Like, try to actually put that time into something that has, like, in the bigger picture. Mm. And so, like, it's not a waste, you know, like, you... Are doing it for a reason and that's I, like this game started out as just like a prototype like demo and then after i had put like thousands of hours into it i was like okay this can't be for nothing like i have to do something with it yeah i feel like that's a really important point you just hit um uh graham also yes thank you that was fun i also wanted to have more understanding of making an actual game with a loop to be able to talk about games um but like what you just mentioned kind of brought the question in my mind of like what was the biggest time waster like the thing like you probably learned from everything you've done but what was like the biggest thing that you you went back you'd be like let me not start down that path let me go down a different path instead that might save some new people i wish i would have i found these guys mm. <laughs> when i first started because like the stuff that they've perfected was stuff that i did like five times like iterations you know, there was like so many tripod models until I found Eld and I was like, okay, this is, this is good. Like, this is good enough for what I want. Mm -hmm. Same with Kaniki. Like, I, there were so many people that did sounds and they were okay. And then I found Kaniki. I was like, this is the standard we're looking for. The, the tripod IK stuff, like that was a big waste of time. Not my time, but I feel like for Chris, like, and then also like, I mean, a lot of it was my time too, <laughs> but um, you know, I think, I think things like the tentacles and the IK and just having to redo like so much of the game, like this last update, that's not even out for close testers yet. Like the tripods are like completely redone, like the movement, the AI, all that stuff. There's a whole new tripod. So it's like, you have to, I had to go back and redo the rise animation or reset it up or like fix all this stuff that I had just done and it was working fine. Like the fairy scene right now is broken with the new procedural tripods so i have to fix that so it's like a lot of things like as i'm you know like taking the time to improve these things 
and with these guys and like um, making sure that everything's up to quality like we have to go back and redo a lot this tripod movement stuff was like a nightmare just because I had to we had to redo so much stuff and it was a pain in the ass but at the end you see it and it's worth it and I just hope people enjoy it and I just want to you know like it should show that we want to make the best game possible because we I've redone if I had these guys and we had a solid plan from the beginning, like we could have done it a lot faster, but it's kind of just going as we go. And and uh, a lot of time has been wasted just like redoing things, but it's all for the better. So and most games start out with little prototypes and rough drafts. So it's just part of the process. It's nothing unique with this project. It's uh, it's normal. And I'm just happy to have like a an actual workflow where we get shit done around here. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it seems like uh, people starting off new might feel like really vulnerable and you're basically just encouraging them, hey, like uh, collab and network with people and don't take everything on yourself. Yeah, it's um definitely like work with people who are just as passionate about it as you. Mm. Like I'm so lucky that like I came across these guys because like, the perfect team is like people who are have their like specific talents and people who are passionate about the same thing and you put those two things together like you make magic and that's what we're doing here but i'm gonna answer a few more questions and i gotta go um uh, what's you see the question from darren is that really a thing i've never heard that in my life so uh, i was gonna say like i don't wow. even know what i don't even know what once human is but it's this pretty cool trippy game that basically um uh, which I said there's Gus the Bus. If those of you remember the Choo Choo Charles thing I guy I talked to, he had like a Gus the Bus Easter egg that wasn't real. But there's a bus in that game with legs, and it was like, oh my gosh, Gus the Bus is real. And it's just a weird trippy game with like horror survival elements that I think would be cool to play. But I, I don't you. I don't see these games at all being the same, so I don't know who would be saying that. <laughs> so they're asking about specs. Um, there's not really like a we're still testing and finding out. I'm still optimizing. And everything but this last update cordex plays it with a 1660 and i think he has like 32 gigs but you know i think you should want 16 gigs of ram you should want you know a decent gpu from the last five years or so so like if i had not needed but it's like you know like yeah integrated it's not gonna work so don't even try but um (laughs) i'm sorry (laughs) No, you're, that's good to point out. People need to know that. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Um, will you be able to swing an axe or sledgehammer at the aliens? Yes, you can attack the aliens with your weapons and defend yourself. Um, I'm going to do three more questions. I'm trying to scroll through here. If you see one, let me know. Um, let's see. Oh, it just seems like people are praising your game. Um yeah, man, I like if it's like it keeps you going, you know. And uh, maybe once next again, video David we'll asking face reveal. Uh, face reveal. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe next time. Um, you first, David. I'm not. I don't feel like I'm ugly or anything. I just like I don't want to put myself out there like that. Yeah, like, yeah. With emerge, like I had done that. I made the mistake of doing that at one point, and it backfired. So uh, I can't imagine with like a million more people. Uh, <laughs> so, I'll take the I'll take the hits. Okay, who, yeah, who it is? It. I'll, I'll break their arms. Okay? Void is the face. Void is the face of this game. <laughs> of me. This is my wild. No. All right. Yes. Yeah, all right. I'll take that. That's better. Um. <laughs> somebody Too asked if credit. we could put the beginning narration of like nobody would believe we have that, but David Baggett, aka Knicky, is doing that, and it sounds great. So he did one recently of the prologue, like where Morgan Freeman's talking at the end of the mm. movie. Oh, he said day before is what people are comparing this to. Oh, okay. I think um, I think a lot of games are like just because day before like they just put a sour taste in everybody's mouth. So everybody's like got their guard up and everybody's like Yeah. The like not just this game, I see it everywhere. Like people are like, Oh, this is like this is another day before. Like it's not like I'm very transparent. Yeah. <laughs> like since day one, like I've never just known anything that's not there. Like it's it's a different thing. Like I'm not yeah. the day before. I'm not. That's a wild accusation. Yeah, I mean, it's I get it, but 
Yeah, people get like it's not the same thing. Like I try to be as transparent as possible. Keep in mind, like we're a super small team. I'm mainly the one doing everything, so it's like people have to recognize and have like realistic expectations. But at the same time, I'm trying to make sure like I do the best that I possibly can, like literally, like possibly can. And yeah, we'll see how it comes out when the game's done. But I'm not gonna promise things that aren't gonna be there and do the day before things. Like I don't know. But we'll see how it goes. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for early access and for people to get their hands on the game. And I'm excited for I'm excited to be done, man. Like <laughs> and like be able to breathe and like I wake bet. up and not feel like, oh I gotta work. And just like Yeah. Dude, but, that that first climb after you release the game is probably gonna be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I just went yesterday with my girlfriend. She's getting into climbing with oh, me now. Oh, sick. So she was like the main reason I wasn't climbing. I was spending more time with her. And then I'm like, now it's best of both worlds. Nice. So I'm sick. I'm back into I got to get back out there. So if I'm ever around your way, we'll link up. Sounds good, bro. I'm excited. Anyways, I got to hop out. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I tried to get all the questions that I could find. Will the game have aliens? Right. Uh... <laughs> I, at this point, it's hard this to say. This is a good question. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say. Question. But thanks, everybody. Um, Void, I'll watch the rest of this um, when I get back. All right, and, my guy. Um, yeah, close testers, if you're watching, like, it's close. Like, I really wanted to get it this weekend, but, um, you know, I got a girlfriend. <laughs> and she was, like, dying <laughs> to get out of town. So I was like, let me just... I need this before the onslaught of, like, the release and all the bug reports and stuff let me like take a day off in the cabins with my girl oh i hope she's not watching this <laughs> she's like, be a surprise. She's be, like texting you. oh shoot oh no oh uh, yeah. uh everyone okay. quiet all right yeah no let, one me, let me go here. before i get before all right. I get caught. all right guys thank you <laughs> all right you thank guys. you so much let's give them a big round of applause <laughs> thanks Tamno, to nikki l thanks for, for taking the time to come and talk and uh appreciate you guys always all right i could catch it up Thanks for the invite, man. Absolutely. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah. Void, I'm going to go do home stuff. I was just with my parents for like four days, and now the, the house is a mess. I better get it cleaned up before I uh, before the wife gets home from work. So. Okay. I'm head out. I don't think anybody has any questions for me. So, um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna head out. Thank you again so much for the invite. Have a good rest of your stream, and I'll, I'll watch it all later as well. All right, bud. Thank you. Thanks, man. Have I'm, a good one. Uh, bye bye. I'm willing to stay if anybody has some uh, tripod related questions or you still have any. Okay, sweet. And then, uh, Temno, you hanging around? Maybe they're asleep. All right. That's cool. All right, either way. Temno became a ghost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Al, glad to have you uh, here bringing in the rest of the video. Uh, chat. Um, again, thanks for being here. Glad uh, to come back to such a warm welcome. I know I was away for a bit. Uh, this has been great. We're going to keep rolling here. Um, is there anything else? Uh, I think I covered everything there. Um, yeah, so let's get back to this video. And I am trying to fight off my hunger. Uh, it's been... How long have we been live for? I don't even know. Maybe a few hours, but... Well, we're going to get through this video, yeah. and then uh, I'm going to eat dinner at some point. So, and then if anyone has uh, questions for you, or if you want to head out at any point, don't feel pressure to, like, have to stick around. And then... Uh, oh, yeah, sure. I, like, chucked my gym dinner, like, just before the stream. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I actually eat late. I like uh, I do like intermittent fasting, so I won't eat breakfast till like ten or eleven. So. Oh yeah, like I, I I don't eat any breakfast either. Sometimes I even skip my lunch and just have dinner. Yeah, yeah. Like I'd rather like just get up and get to work and work out on an empty stomach and then eat eat Yeah, after. but just um, like you're actually burning something. <laughs> yeah. I did want to catch up on some super chats I did see earlier. Uh, what was that? Um, yeah, I farted by Roxanne. Thank you. 
thank you for the five dollars. I, I appreciate that. Uh, your support goes right towards keeping the ship fueled. Uh, David L, loving my Void Boy back on the grind. Thank you. Oh, and Eld looks like a horseshoe crab. Eld Pod looks like a horseshoe crab from the top. Yep. And I like that. <laughs> I honestly do. I like horseshoe crab. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 dope. It's super dope. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's actually do this. This would be a better setup here. Okay. All right. Back to the theater. We grow. Grab your popcorn. We have much of the video to get back to. to, allow military and emergency services to, to I got a good one. All right. See you, Grub. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. Again, feel free to grab a membership or hop in our discords or like the stream or just hang out, guys. This is such a great view. Will not be tolerated. I love hearing all the crickets as well. The President of the United States has issued a nationwide state of emergency. The nationwide state of emergency. Shortly after convening with national crisis I think that's some quite awesome feedback the about the crickets being too loud. <laughs> they are a little loud. Now that you mention it, like they're they're there. If your area is not yet affected by power failures, charge emergency devices such as radios and transmitters. Do not use phone lines for non-emergencies. If your home has a basement, immediately relocate yourself and anyone with you inside it. Do not attempt to go outside. Do not stay near windows or large open rooms. Cool Godzilla Void Boy is mewing. Can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Void boy from space! I'm so glad I get to hang out with all you guys again. Angry Viking, I think I actually did. Li again, the beautiful. This is beautiful sights. I did listen to that musical on my way driving to the shore last year, 2023. I think it was 2023, or it was earlier. Yeah, um, and uh, it was it was an awesome ride. It was an awesome two-hour ride. See, this is so nice. It's so serene. I love that they're dialing in these parts of the game as well, because you're gonna be alone for most of the time. Let's go. We got an axe, baby. We miss you, Captain. Ah, oh, I miss you guys. Miss you, Maximus. Glad to be back. Yeah. No, Can I be mod if like... I donate $100? Uh, no, but I would greatly appreciate that. Imagine oh, like going through there alone with the red weed. Like being all alone. Yeah. Alien planet. Yeah, like your home planet is slowly turning into something foreign and terrifying. It doesn't, it doesn't look like home anymore. Yes. It's not, it's not home anymore. <laughs> I can't wait to, uh, for multiplayer to be functioning and to play this with you guys. Uh, it's going to be a fun time. That'll be an interesting stream. I'm actually going to run a poll. I'm curious what the chat thinks. Uh, oh, lovely weather effects. I also like the days survived, how that's etched there. That's nice. Uh, yeah, there's some UI changes. All right, chat. What version is your favorite tripod? Ooh. This will be interesting. With the man himself here. Uh, wild animals. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad we got the wild animals too, man. I know we had wolves. Oh, no. That was a jump scare and a half. I don't know if you remember... Like, back when the wolves were implemented. <laughs> Ooh! Getting Skyrim vibes. <laughs> uh, opening right? scene, bro, every time. <laughs> Come out of the cave and they're just chilling there. 
This is like Skyrim with uh, with tripods. It's it's pretty nice. And I mean that is the highest uh, praise. Mmm. Nice fall damage death. <laughs> That's awesome. That was solid too. That felt nice. Yo, imagine multiplayer, you're driving along this road, and there's someone else with an RV coming along this road. You'd be like, uh, like, <laughs> you'd be like trying not to fall off the mountain, like, trying to pass each other. I remember a really funny video from a closed tester where uh, there was an NPC, and they were shooting a gun from inside a house, so the tripod would look at the NPC and get him. <laughs> That's awesome. And I can just see that like happening in multiplayer. Yes, uh, the tomfoolery. Also, hello, Tendo. Good to see you again. Uh, dude, the nature. It's just, it's it's so good now. The environments. I still see stuff popping in, but you know, it's still early. It's still in development. And this is also two months old. Let's remember. Grab my phone. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> the ball says, "Oh, it's close." But yeah, I mean, 2005. It's made by like some of. The best people in the industry <sighs> at the time. I don't even know where my phone went. I don't want to miss. It's all dark. I can't see anything. Oh, I like those lights. All right, for real. I do have to go back and grab my phone somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> Be <right> back. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, guys, how fast do you think Floyd will find his phone? I'm back. He did it. Alright, what I miss? What I miss? You guys behaving? Oh, we were just uh, guessing how long you would take. Wait, what's up? What'd you say? We were guessing how long you would take to uh, find your phone. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, he didn't. Need. Um, well, luckily, it wasn't that far. Also, I, it looks like YouTube is silencing a bunch of people who are using emotes. Oh, I don't know why. Um, you're only is using it, three emotes. The spam or? Yeah, I don't know why. I have to go check the settings. Um, because people are using emotes, so I don't know. I don't know what's up, but uh, maybe there's an update since the last time I 
streamed, but all right. Back to another video. I love those horns. Oh yeah, you can see the smoke there too. Yeah, that was nice. Ah oh, yeah, that's so cool. Kind of goofy, but I really thought it would give them like this like, threatening aura. Awesome. Yeah, that, it really, like, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I love it, just like trailing them around, like. Like, it, like it's a little, like it's a little silly, but I thought it would like add more, some more character to it. Oh yeah. Such a nice view, such a cool scene. And again, everything with the lighting and fog and stuff makes it feel real and nice. I love, the, again, I love the horn sounds. Yeah, Candy, uh, candy Key really cooks on those. Yeah. Uh, and it, okay, so this this red weed he's talking about here. Yeah, this is old. Like, this yeah, is I was gonna old. say, you can see some of it. Like here. Yeah. Yeah, the, the issue with it was that it was like really performance heavy, but it also doesn't quite cover that much. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I suggested to Raf to like uh, maybe try using a decals at some point, and then like he later, uh, what he told you, like a close tester helped him out with that. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, I think it's a good move. It's definitely better. Generating like models, I think pretty CPU heavy. Mm. The stars look good, the clouds look good. Oh, I did forget to ask him if he still is planning on doing VR. Uh, I haven't heard anything to the contrary, so... Oh, that's good. Alright, you heard it here, folks. Eld has confirmed 110% that VR will be a thing. <laughs> yeah, 1 million percent good. <laughs> it, I will say, if VR does come out for this, that will be the reason I do get a VR headset. And then I'll stream it. I'll use my green screen and I'll put myself over like in the corner standing up and then we'll have fun. <laughs> it's just all of a sudden quiet. Yeah, I, I do like the step that he made with the decals. I think that's gonna look way cooler. It just being yeah. like coding everything. And who cares if it's not like spatial it's just a decal like yeah it's it's gonna use like uh, normal maps to yeah. give like a bit of height to it yep i mean dude again like i played zelda growing up and they stretched as mm -hmm. much as they could you know so <laughs> it, clearly yeah. if the game is fun that that's all that matters everything else is icing 
Me too, Max. Me too. Oh, you know what? I'm sad. I have to pour a drink out. I have to pour oh. a drink out for returning and to wrath hitting a thousand. Um, a hundred thousand subs. So, let me grab oh, my... Yeah. Let me grab my tried and true whiskey. This is also crazy intense. I like how the NPC just ran. If we survive this, I'm grabbing a whiskey. One question. Um, yeah. Are th these are normal tripods, right? Uh, hold on. They yeah, look yeah, like yeah. normal. Um, okay. Um, I just was curious from this perspective of the player if it's uh -huh. like fairly obvious if you're looking up at a like an Uber pod, like if there's anything underneath that mm -hmm. you see from the backside like this that would be like very obvious. I know that um, uh, I was telling Raph we should probably remove the cage from the Uber Paw because it would be mm. too large for people. Like, they would just fall through the holes. Mm. But I'm not sure if that has actually been uh, done. Okay. But, uh, the, the way uh, you can tell is by the, the much larger press. So at the back of the tripod, you see, like, the, the glowing red bars. Mm -hmm. Those are, like... Um, those are heat sinks, so... Uh, That's I so genius! <laughs> I, the, the reason why I wanted heat sinks there is because I was thinking, okay, what if they ever use these things in space, right? Mm. Um, like, um, you know, rocks in space, uh, uh, asteroids or spaceships. Who knows what these guys got, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, in space, the only way to lose heat is with like a radiator, like a like a heat sink. So that's why I added those to the back, and they're much larger on the Uber variant. I think it's uh, I think it's a great idea. I, I honestly love how much you guys are putting lore like into everything you're doing here. So oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's it's fantastic. I, I like to uh, the designs I work on. Like, there's there's like the rule of cool, but it's so nice to just add like a little bit of real in there. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let me grab this drink. Also, the lighting looks awesome. It, it really has come a long way. Can't drink without the drinking glasses. So quiet. Oh, I love this shot of them like going over the hill. Mm hmm. Cheers, cadets. Whoever's here with the stream. To Raph, to Eld, <laughs> to Void Boy returning. It's good to see you back. Thank you. Everybody <sighs> was a little worried about you. Uh, I can only imagine. I just, uh. Yeah. Skull! <laughs> That's right, Viking. Skull!
Yeah, we got, uh, we got games lined up. We're gonna be bringing the horror games back. Maybe some news here and there, but... Just in general, we'll, we'll be back. By the way, where's Kit? Good question! Um... I know he's been, like, traveling and doing things, uh, and we haven't really seen him around for a bit. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, guys, YouTube is hard. <laughs> it's really hard. It's really stressful. It takes up a lot of time, and, uh, you have to want to do it and want to in and, and enjoy doing it. So I just, I knew my per personally, like, I needed a little bit of a break, but, um... Do we know if this is playable on Steam Deck? Uh, I would say no. I mean, you could, I'm sh you could start it up, but it's definitely not optimized for Steam mm. Deck. I think we're looking out some windows. It's very dark. Yeah. It's so hard, because I have like these streaming lights, so my room is bright. It's hard for me to see. <laughs> Do you have like a three light setup, or do you have like a blue backlight, but I think you have like another white? Or like I have or multiple backlight? lights. I have actually <laughs> two, four. I got five lights. Um, lighting is everything, uh, especially when you're trying uh, to yeah. green screen stuff. The more lighting, the better. So, yeah, I have I have lights to kind of tie me in with like mm -hmm. the blue, like right you can see here. Yeah. To make it look like I'm actually in this area. Ah, uh, yeah, it matches your background. Yep. Yeah, and I have like an RTX um, card, so it's like magically popping. So like my mic is right here. Um, there's a light right there. I can oh, show yeah, you. I there's a light somewhere over here. <laughs> yeah, right there. With uh, when, when I'm rendering, uh, back, I have a nice backlight that like really shows the silhouette of something. Mm. Very important. Yes, lighting is understanding. Lighting is so key. And dude, your shots. That's what I'm telling you. That's why I appreciate your shots so much. It's oh, so good. Uh, L3 memes. Uh, how you doing, Void? I'm doing much better. Um, yeah, I just got stressed for a while, you know. Um, busy uh, picking up more hours at the gym that I work at which also doesn't pay me a whole lot this is fucking epic excuse my French but holy <laughs> crap that was awesome that was awesome oh yeah um, for uh, people in the chat uh, uh, about the Andy and the products who are working on the subject and they are gonna do a public release Actually, I think Cortex already uploaded one of the tracks, probably. Dude, that was epic. That was an insane amount of action. This game's gonna be fun. I mean... Not that I don't know that. Um, yeah, Max, I also... So I've been uh, arm wrestling for a while. I practice every Sunday. I've been teaching new guys. And again, I've just been enjoying that. Uh, it's a fun thing to get into. Uh, I did put out a video on my personal channel. It's just Johnny Miller. Um, that's also linked in my, all on my channel. I took footage of the whole event. It was super fun. But I just have my hands in a lot of different things. Here you guys, I'll show you guys some of the medals. That we got from arm wrestling. So you know, it's real, it's not a joke. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's fun. It's a <laughs> it's an intense sport. You gotta be careful though. Um, two people people always break their arms at competitions, it just happens, and we had two people break their arms last competition. Uh, uh it was a guy and a girl. Um, but, oh, this is the nuke. 
I do like croissants. I like scones, also. Very much so. I've never been to France or had food from France directly, so uh, hopefully one day that can change. Void uh, and his arm wrestling gains. Yes, Hallowed Haven. Dude, so cool. This game is looking so the, good. The songs are pretty good. What, the, the music? Uh, no, the uh, croissant. Oh, oh okay. The, the food. Um. Yeah, hopefully one day I'll be able to travel. Uh there's there's one guy. I felt bad. I never made a video. I'd, uh trust me. The life of being a YouTuber and then also having like a normal like having stuff like in life normally. There's just a ever-ending backlog of stuff I want to do. And this one guy lives um like where the ferry scene was filmed. And he sent. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at this NPC running across. And he sent me, <laughs> he sent me pictures of that place, and I would love to like actually go visit and do like a vlog of like filming the actual locations of the movie. Uh, but it's just tough. You need, you need the money and time to be able to do that. But I still might make a video just based on the pictures he sent. Um, Oh, that'd be awesome for a reference as well. Oh, yes, yes. I'll have to forward that to you. Um. I do love the music. you guys uh, know um, so it's my personal channel and that's the tournament that I went to uh, feel free to uh, enjoy that and watch that it was a really fun time I had a lot of fun putting it together I love like film and so when I record vlogs I try to make it as like cinematic as possible um, and I, I would love to actually do indie films and short films and stuff like that I no longer am planning to try to go out to California and pursue acting. That's something I was doing back in like 2019 before the world went to shit. <laughs> um, and then I started YouTube uh, once my plans kind of got ruined. So that's what led me to here. Uh, and then I found you this game and then the rest is history. Does this game look like you're really off track or? Absolutely. Yeah, I was, I made it my goal. So. I got super sick of AAA games being like mm -hmm. greedy or just lackluster and just seeing the industry crumble, which is also kind of why I took a little bit of a break from gaming because I just got so depressed thinking about it. Um, yeah. And I just spent, I said, all right, I'm going to dedicate my channel to covering indie games. And then I found a few. And then this was the second or third game that I found. And I was like, oh, like this is this is exactly what I was looking for. Like, <laughs> this is why indie games are awesome. And uh, I did like a video, and then me and Raf connected, and then it just went from there. <laughs> and I've been very uh, gratefully involved since. Um, so. Pretty cool. Uh, I've, I've seen some of your videos on other indie games. Yeah, I... It can be tough. Sometimes they're not that great. There's nothing worth covering, or... It's like a whole other community you have to, like, push into. <laughs> so, um, uh, sometimes it works out. And there's other indie developers yeah. I've wanted to have on, and they were just too shy, and they didn't want to. Um, but then I had that amazing opportunity to talk with uh, Gavin from Choo Choo Charles, which was oh, cool. Yeah. I wish I followed up with him. Uh, maybe someday I still can. But you kind of get like in your head about things. You're like, oh, like I fell off. Like he won't want to talk to me. Like he's too busy talking with Tom Thomas uh, Brush and all that. But who knows? Um, we'll see. 
but I got the, uh, I got you guys to talk to as well. So the uh, for the indie scene, the uh, day before definitely gave people a, a weak load of content. For sure. Yes, <laughs> and that's the other thing. <laughs> like it gives you so much content, but I also don't want to spend my time on my channel only talking about negative ah, things because yeah. then I get depressed. I'm yeah. like. Then I start to lose. Yeah, I start to lose interest in gaming. Like everybody was like writing that, and I mean everybody else is doing it already. So. Yeah, I mean it's a good way to like gain followers and get views. Negativity. People love drama. Yeah, and I I just didn't want to become a drama channel, and so I just kind of had to refocus. And, uh, I did connect a little bit with Big Fry and his his transients shooter game he's working on which was really cool um but we'll, we'll see you know i'm just gonna keep i'm gonna keep doing things like on this channel my personal channel and uh, just trying to enjoy life you know it's all you can do it's all uh, any of us can do yeah uh personal question do you check out other people's custom tripod sounds in your free time and not really uh not really and mostly because i don't have a ton of free time I'm always just typically working on something. Um, so like I work at a gym, I do arm wrestling, and I'm also getting involved with their production. So the people who put that tournament on from my video I shared, it's 98% arm wrestling. I'm gonna start helping them with live streams since I have so much experience. Um, like I helped commentate that one and helped with the live stream for that one. And uh, I'll be going to more events and be getting involved there. So that's really exciting for me. Um, and then I'm thinking of videos I want to do for this channel or my personal channel or just exercising every day you know I try to stay healthy try to stay fit I've been getting back into basketball um, I missed that so I've been shooting shooting a bit here and there um, yeah I don't know um, I have a bunch of little hobbies that I try to entertain all the time and if I can turn one of them into a full-time gig that'd be sick if I could have more time, I would like to get back to game development, but I just have my hand in, in too many paint buckets. <laughs> I'd like to do acting, like I said, in indie films as well, so maybe I could just make my own. I'd really actually like to learn uh, modeling, like 3D modeling, so I can just make scenes without having to need the equipment. I can just do everything in virtual space. Oh, man. I will warn you, 3D modeling takes a long time. I'm sure, uh, which is why but, um, I'm scared. <laughs> if you if you are going to get into that, I highly recommend you look at uh, Ian Hubert okay. on YouTube. He uh, he's really good with basically just using real life images and making like really low detail models and just placing those images on there to just fill out scenes in the background. Mm. Works extremely well yeah because i'd like to also use it for like my channel like for my backgrounds mm -hmm. or my intro um like i made oh, yeah. i made an intro for 98 percent arm wrestling and i did it all in davinci resolve without any like 3d stuff it was all 2d and i made it look as 3d as possible and it's like i need to start learning like 3d animation like <laughs> so <laughs> um yeah yeah, definitely check that guy out when you get into that. Uh, do I want to? Do I want to make a whole ass game? Uh, I have ideas, and if I had the time and skills, I would definitely make them a thing. Um, they're not huge ideas, but we'll see. Um, I look forward to your streams and videos. They make my day better. That is so nice to hear. Seriously, uh, I appreciate that. I'm glad I can do that for you guys. This is also extremely epic. And I've been enjoying... Raph, I know you're watching this whenever you catch up on watching this. I've been enjoying everything I see. I'm just talking and drinking. Uh, I loved also this. The look on the windshield here. I kind of just can't wait for the game to come out. I know we all can't. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm gonna try. 
Uh, Ivalina? Is that it? Mar Markova? Um, thank you, Void. You're uh, really cool and interesting. Epic uh, live stream. Never managed to hold my attention for so long. That's that's huge. Uh, praise. Thank you. I try to keep it fun and real and as interesting as I can. Yeah, this driving. <laughs> it takes some skills. This is actually a uh, camping simulator. Yeah, right? It's a camping simulator with horror elements. <laughs> they're the subplot. Yeah, they're not really the main focus of the game. Yeah. Yeah, chat, I've... Uh... I was gonna send Raph some voice lines, but uh, I wanted to wait and see if he was gonna use them, and then he went with like the AI route. So maybe I still will, or um, we'll see. But I, uh, I always thought it would be fun to like, since I have a really good camera, to like take a bunch of images and like basically self photo scan my head, and like somehow get me in the game. I think that would be so fun. <laughs> If he'd be open to it, I think that'd be sick. But maybe a hidden, hidden NPC that you can find out in the woods, just chilling, camping. Maybe he's like arm wrestling some rednecks, you know? Like <laughs> 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 that'd be pretty funny. Would be cool to play as me. That'd be wild. Yeah, you get like a, a spacesuit uh, unlockable. Wonder if you could photo scan yourself with your phone. I think I actually kind of looked into it. You, you kind of can't. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's applications for that. So, hey, maybe I'll be, maybe I'll be messaging you later, Ellen. <laughs> I don't. I don't kill people. I'm only good at like machinery. Just. For some uh, I'll photo scan myself, and then you just map me onto the tripod. I'm sure that won't look weird at all. Just make sure my head. Oh, I can. I can. I can put you in the driver's seat. Is... <laughs> just sitting on the top of the tripod, like, like this. <laughs> but wait, I have to look. I have to have like the whole getup. I have to be like this, like. like just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well there there is an Easter egg I did just recently talk to Raph about and he he okayed it so um, I'm not gonna say what it is because I want people to find it, but there is Ooh. there is one Easter egg that I will have to work on uh, getting to him. Even I don't know. I will find it. No, it's gonna be so impossible. I admire the ambition, Grim. Yeah, dude, this game in VR would be a very interesting experience. That will be the the VR era of Void Boy. Uh, the captain will be get it. Will get a new, you know, high tech. Uh, future seeing portal device for his face and uh, that'll be a new era when we get there we'll do some fun streams oh yeah um, are tornadoes still in the game I think they might be But I think, or they might be getting added back. 
I think I... I was gonna say, I thought I saw a message earlier I forgot to respond to. Oh, uh, Viking. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, sorry to hear that your arm wrestling career is over. I will arm wrestle with heart. In, in your honor. I love the music cues. That's always fun. It's a new element. Yeah, there's like a uh, cute sort of heat rate you can throw. <laughs> oh my god, I just read Bug's comment. <laughs> What if you turn the heat rays into ray rays, shooting Tom Cruises at you? <laughs> Maybe for April Fools. Yes. Oh my gosh. The power of Scientology compels you! <laughs> oh my goodness. A million views. It's fantastic. Oh, jeez, that's sick. I didn't even think he saw him. That's crazy. I went back, Darren. I went back. Oh, man! I thought he was safe. The Uber. The Uber pod. Badass. Badass. I love the lighting. I'm gonna praise the lighting. Every five minutes. Oh! Helicopter deleted. Goodbye. Uh, oh yeah. I wanted to actually talk a little bit about the... Um, the effects for the heat rate. Uh, so the I made like a new texture for the the rays themselves. Okay. So it looks more like uh, lightning coming up. Like it's not exactly lightning, but it's like a more unstable kind of beam compared <gasps> to to oh. That is gorgeous. Okay. All right, chat. Look at this. That's delicious. That's fantastic. I actually wanted to know if people like the colors purple and orange. I do. I'm a fan. Big fan. Thumbs up, thumbs down, chat. Purple and orange. Muy bueno. Me gusta. So nice. You're so beautiful. Yeah, I dig it. Wouldn't the helicopter blow up? Yeah, it probably should. Oh, yeah, that's um, yeah, that's what it's like. Happened and to the video being old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they do get blown up now. Yeah, that's probably an update. Um, 
Well, that's something I was going to ask, like, are there things on the ground that you can shoot as a tripod that would blow up, like a tanker or like, like an oil rig or I don't know, like anything like, not an oil rig, um, but you know what I mean, like if there's like a, like a gas station or like a truck yeah. carrying gas or whatever, like if shooting it makes it go like, blow up, that'd be dope. I've, I've seen like the the building structure. Oh, so. okay. Oh uh, yeah, the the light coming through the window. I was, yeah, I was like, I kept telling Raph like, please put that in there, please yes. put that in there. But it looks awesome. I don't care. Like the the resolution in that footage was a little lower than the rest of the video. I was like, I don't care. Put, please put it in. Yeah. <laughs> um. I'm assuming. This is death by heat, right? Or death by building collapsing? Uh, destruction wasn't in there yet, so okay. this is like the heat ray. Okay. Uh, maybe one little um, unless things become like very apparent, um, mm -hmm. maybe something that says like how you died. That would be kind of just like oh you got heat rayed or you got crushed or. Something of that nature. I don't know how difficult that would be for Raft. Yeah. Because um, if you're like this... I mean, like, there, there, yeah, there is the heat ray death sound. Like you... Oh, that? Oh, okay. That's the heat ray death sound. Gotcha. Okay. Like you hear like, the breath and like your clothes blow. Yeah. I wonder if uh, maybe Kaneki could put more of that like... Like that rustling, you know, like when they get shot, it's like, like they like flutter. Like yeah, those. that would be kind of cool. <laughs> Reinforce it yeah. just a little bit. I did get killed. We got, it's we almost got killed like a, like a like a back of flower exploding or something. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll throw on some boxing gloves and I'll punch. I'll do a bunch of different takes of punching a bag of flour open. <laughs> oh yeah, here you can actually see it in the game. Oh cool, I like how it's moving the trees too. Oh yeah, trees get like pushed. Yeah. That's a really nice detail. Dude, yeah, it's huge, huge improvement with the... The walking, that's just, that's fantastic. I mean, and we never thought it would like, get here or be made like this so yeah i i, uh, I pull tenmo a lightsaber uh, a lifesaver mm, yeah 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 gotta protect the oil, oil chat oh yeah so the um Ooh, uh, somebody asked a question Oh, the, the 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 heat rays in the uh, new tripod there uh, they will actually burn uh, people like in the book like they will actually set them on fire instead of like uh, disintegrate them. Oh, cool! It's, uh, it's something they actually wanted to do in the movie, but they didn't do it because of the rating. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Huh? That's funny. It's, uh, there's like a uh, concept art of the scene where the guy like drops his camera after the tripod uh, like fires the beam at him mm -hmm. and uh, in the original concept art you can see the guy on the ground burning and the camera like looking at him. It's oh really... my gosh, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> gruesome. <laughs> yeah. It's like right in his face. Yep, and, and Spielberg He's just there like, like, yeah. Is that good? Is that a nice thing? I'm uber void. Uh, I've been yeah. ubered. Just, uh, oh. yeah. <laughs> That's the, like, original concept. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I gotta pull this up. <laughs> Gnarly. It's it's just a ghost rider. Right there. Yeah, seriously. 
gnarly. It it's kind of cool, honestly. There's something cool about it. Like it could be like a cool emblem, or I don't know. It's almost making me think of like Halo when your helmet was like on fire. Oh no, uh, it's not a deleted scene. Uh, not my blood. This is the um, uh, in the intersection scene. There's a guy filming the tripod as it's like charging its heat rays. Then it cuts to like the scene where it shoots him, and the camera drops on the ground, and you see through the camera as people are getting hit. This is what it was originally gonna be like. Like people would actually burn instead of disintegrate. Uh, and poor fools. Yeah. yeah, I can see how this would have turned up the rating of the movie. Yeah. A bit. That's alright, we'll do it in the game. We'll do it live. Oh. Want this game to be rated M. <laughs> EA Sports. It's in the game. Oh. EA. <laughs> Big boy. Wasn't yeah, wasn't there a scene like that in um in Tomb Raider? A lost arc or something? The dude's face like just melts. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I'm oh sure. you mean Indiana you said yeah, Tomb Indiana Raider. Jones. You mean Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, there is. It's just like, blah, and like, what was that rated? Yeah. Rated M for America. Uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. Let me look it up. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh look! Oh look! He's got a little bear. Pick up the bear. Oh, that was so funny, man. Seeing him look at the bear that was awesome. Oh, look, he's getting a little woozy. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Yes, victory. Victory speech. Oh, it, was, it was rated PG. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that seat is horrible. We used to be it's a lot worse tougher. than this. Yeah. <laughs> But look how soft we've become. We need to get hard. Oh, concept art by Danny. Seventeen. New, new a concept artist. Oh, he's uh, he's been there for a while. He was actually working on that when I uh, had almost finished the model. Um, <laughs> I love the victory screeches in chat. Um, oh, beautiful. Beautiful shots. I love the, the weather too. Um, cause wasn't it um, s who was it? Slow or Shadow? What was the other guy? There was someone else who did art. Hold up. Uh, hmm. yeah, for Danny and Bobby. But um, Danny, their original name was uh, like Though Magic. Yes. Like that yes. was their original name. Okay. So it's okay. the same person. They just changed their Discord name. Oh, I got you. Handle. Wow. As long as we can ride the bears and wield an American flag, um, that would be... That would be peak gaming. Um, that was awesome. We did it, guys. We made it through the hour-long video uh, update. And if Raph releases another hour-long video, uh, like tomorrow, I'm going to hurt him. But that's okay. Uh, <laughs> was he? Oh, I thought he just messaged me. Um, awesome stuff. I'm so glad I came back. I'm so glad this was the first stream to come back to you. Asteroid bugs with the emojis in chat. Um, yeah, I'm sick. Uh, chat, do you guys have any more questions for one of the project members, Eld here, who is with us? Or for me? 
Are we going to kidnap Raph? Um, sure, just don't tell him. All right. That could be our little secret here at the end of the stream. Eld, if you tell him, listen. Listen, buddy. Hey, I'm in on it. I'm in All on right, it. he's in on it. All right, guys. This is, this is going to work. <laughs> we have someone on the inside. He will never know what hit him. Uh, you absolutely nailed the model, says uh, Hallowed Haven. Oh, uh, thank you. Will food spoil? I don't think they have that programmed um, in the game. I don't think so. I like how that's the only question. What kidnapping Raf? That's what's on your mind? That's what's on your mind, chat, huh? I Listen, mean I I have some uh moonshine, so I have an excuse. Y'all are just y'all are just <laughs> ready to kidnap someone, so <laughs> I don't know. Let's kidnap voice guy. Whoa, 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 hey, no, you know what? I like the, the kidnap Raf idea better. Let's let's stick with that plan. <laughs> All right, out quick. The tides are turning. We got to end stream really fast. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Eld, it's been awesome. Chat. Yeah. It's been great. Cadets, thank you for being here, joining me uh, on the return journey. Uh, the ship has had its upgrades. And, uh, uh, look, look for, for more, more content, content soon. soon. We're going to stream, stream soon. soon. This is my going. All right, sorry. I realized I was just talking out of both mics at once. Uh, more streams, more horror games, things coming up. Fun things, good things. Al, thank you for being here. Yeah, no problem. It was Chat. nice. Till next time. My plug just came off in my ear. What the heck? <laughs> Salutes to you all. Cadets, salutes to all of you. It has been an amazing journey thus far. If I don't see you today, tomorrow, I'll see you in the next stream or the next piece of content. Keep those eyes high. Chins up, eyes to the skies, cadets. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.